and we're live yeah no funky introduction just me starting up the show because this is going to just be a drawing stream so uh history on indiegogo what was that oh history on indiegogo look at that doug has made 1.1 million dollars on indiegogo not bad doug not bad but can we get this over fifty thousand, please this is ridiculous Look, how I told Doug he'd be over 50000 by morning, and it is, it's 3.15 in the afternoon. Come on, guys. What are you doing? All right, let me, uh, let me do a jump over here. Uh, huh, it's not showing up in my thing. All right. YouTube Studio? No. What do I want? Premium. I need to have this open. The Whoa, there we go. That's loud. All right. Uh, welcome, Dark Ma Admiral March Hare, Fuzzy Creature, Dry Designs Network, Dennis Perush. Hello, hello, one and all. Copy. Dennis, did you ever get my email or email me back? Because I don't look at my email enough. Uh, here, let me send another link here. Up, up, up. There it is. There it is. All right. Did you back it, Mike? I did. I am back at number 85. Thank you very much. Can we get Titan over 50K? Can we, Gary? Gary, you have the link, I think, if you want to drop it, jump in here and do some drawing with me. Do some drawing. I'm going to do some drawing. Did you ever talk to Doug about troops stuff and other things i admit i don't donate for those things but i feel like he's holding out on us stretch goals and tears uh i believe he's going to make his um his charity i did talk about it i don't talk to him about it he's he said he was he was leaning towards doing uh um uh saint jude's children hospital tier this time so uh Email? No, I've got thousands of unread email these days. I know, me too. I have seriously like 50, 60,000 unread emails. <laughs> I suck. I know. Hello, hello, everybody. Everybody needs somebody. Titan is woefully underfunded. Where is Titan? Let us see. Hello, Edan. Let's check out where Titan is. Titan. This is supposed to be a drawing stream, but we'll do an update on some stuff. We are at $13,183 with eight days left. Have you backed Titan yet? Yet All the 15 of you who are here who probably have. I know. Like and share. Like and share. That's the deal. You're here. You gotta like and share. Oh, I forgot. I haven't liked and shared yet. Uh... All right, so liking, sharing, tweeting. What are you singing again? Everybody. That. Someone said, oh, crap, he's singing again. Oh, I'm always singing. Do I never, ever not stop singing? Wait. Do I ever not stop? Do I ever not stop? Do I never? Never mind. All right, all right, all right. Wow, I thought I was bad at around 30,000 unread emails. <laughs> I know. What did you have? Uh, 43,948. Oh, I must have deleted some. Uh, that's just on one account. Uh, yep, yep, yep. All right, everybody's back, Titan. Let me get to what I'm trying to do here. Drawing Gun Girl for the Magnificent Seven. Let's actually close. Oh, no, no, don't quit. Cancel, that's the wrong one. W. Uh, no, don't save that. All right, close that. No, don't save that. Oh. Could you please stop singing, you know, for the sake of the children? For the <laughs> children! All right, well, here's my Dean Cain cover. Let's see if I can tab that out. Man, why does my stomach feel all weird again? You're going to throw up. I'm not going to throw up. Why will this not fill the screen? Ugh. So annoying. 
Anyway, gotta thin out that face a little. What face? What you talking about, Willis? Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. what's up, Flat Fox Pro? Willis, zibble, 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 zibble. All right, so let's. I don't really need this one open. I was just showing you guys. I just sent this over to Dean. Uh, we'll see what he thinks about it. I actually messed this face up. And uh, it didn't look like him at all in the original drawing, so uh, I sent it to him, and I'm like, I'll uh, I'll have to redo it. <laughs> I'll have to tweak it. And he he laughed at me. I felt so hurt. I was so sad. He laughed at me. But anyways, that being the case, uh, file open recent. Da, 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 da. Mega Caitlin cover. All right, this isn't actually the Caitlin cover. Uh, I just saved a file off to be the Caitlin cover. And then now I can uh, can merge these Mommy. and delete. Start a new one. All right. So here we go. Here we go again. There we go. Tab. Why does it not tab tab? Why is it just tab once? Oops, that's not right. What's happening? Nope. That's not what I want at all. All right, fill. Ah, there we go. Zoom. All right. All right, all right. So you're going to maintain her honor and dignity and have her fire an orbital cannon wearing a spacesuit, right? Hmm. Are you simulcasting with Order of the Green Hand? Oh, tonight? Um, most likely. Most likely. And uh, I might. Oh, I have that dragon illustration to do. I have to do those three dragons together. Oh, I just spit out my microphone. Um, but I also have to do... Um, I also have to do... They want me to get ahead of schedule on the Game of Thrones stuff. So I might... I might just do the next Game of Thrones book or cover tonight on Green Hand. So I'll decide. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba, kinda palish. He's looking a little green. Wah, wah. All right, all right, all right. Let's get rid of this. Caitlin, Caitlin. Not Catlin. Not Catlin. We're doing Gun Girl. If there's going to be any singing, leave it to Eden, please. She really hit the talent lottery. Great artist and lovely voice. I have a lovely voice. How dare you? Uh, you know what it was? Okay. Aside from all the nausea and vomiting and diarrhea going on in this house. Sorry. <laughs> no. Overly descriptive. I drank a... I took a bottle of disgusting suja green juice... I do like certain green juice, but this stuff is gross. Well, it's just, uh, just like you're drinking grass. Um, and I put my fiber in it. I haven't had fiber in a while. And I just mix that together and I chug the whole thing. And I think my stomach might um, be rebelling against me at this particular point in time. But that be that as it may. Be that as it may. I am going to need... Um, so Caitlin asked me that I, uh, I give her a little bit more clothes, uh, for the cover because her, uh, she's, she's a modest young lady. And, uh, so I'm going to have to redesign her a little bit for the gun girl cover. Should I just straight up do, so I kind of want to do. Like, oops, why is it still zoom? I don't want it on zoom. I want it on brush. All right. So um, what I can do, I don't know. I'm trying to decide here. Do I want to do or like do like a, uh, Like this kind of a thing. So I want to do is I want to do like the Dean King cover, right? Where I have one 
thing of her like smaller in the foreground, but I'd want her to be holding like some mega crazy big gnarly awesome weapon that doesn't exist in the real world and is way too heavy for a 98 pound girl to be carrying. Um, Haha, ha, good for her. All LOL spandex, all spandex. I was actually thinking of uh, giving, having all of the. Um, why is that green? D, this should be black. Why is this green? Oh, now it's black. All right, Z. Why is this chugging? This shouldn't be going so. You know what? Maybe I have too much stuff open. Hold on. Let me close out some stuff here. By the way, uh, the link to Magnificent 7 is in the description. If you have not signed up already, then please do. Please do. Uh, Caitlin posting this out yesterday got me a good chunk of signups. I'm very happy about that. Uh, looking forward to kind of lunch Friday. Oh, Eric, uh, come on my show. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, all right. I need to talk to Eric about some stuff. I need to see. Do you want me to come on a banter while you draw? Yeah, Edwin. You've got the link. You've got the link. I think. I think I sent you the link. Let me see. Bink. Bam. Link sent. All right, Comixology. Let me close out a bunch of these windows. I have so many windows open right now. That might be why my computer has decided to start to chug a luggin. Wow, that's a lot of. Ah, oh, darn it! I just closed the window I wanted open. Cause I'm an idiot. Da, da, da. Okay. All right. All right. We got those open, and I need to close this one out. Let's see. Two hundred three. Yeah, I think Caitlin got me like a hundred signups just in like one tweet and one post on Facebook. So, no bub. Close out a fourth of your tabs or windows. Let's see what else do I have open? Oh my gosh, where's that? Oh, it's on this page. All right, well let's see. Did you guys get us up over fifty? Well, not us, but forty nine eight twenty nine. So close! Come on. All right. You should probably have Caitlin on your stream to advise on more clothes. <laughs> well, I don't know what her schedule is. I sent her I sent her the link just in case. I've never even talked to her about streaming, so uh, so I don't think I can just call on her to be like, get on my show. She's probably fairly busy. All right, what is this page? Gosh, I have so many. No, no, that one's that's the one I want. That's that one. That's that one. That's that one. That's the same one. Why is this per acting like it's two different windows? Oh, oh, wait. Oh, this is the John Delarose garbage tier. Oh, okay. This is all Disney stock. Uh, Psalms and... Okay, let me just open this back up over here. Nope. I do apologize for not getting to this immediately, but this got to drag back over here. No, I don't want you full screen. All right, that's all I need open. I just want that open. And there. All right. All better. What's up, Marine? What's going on? Look at you. What'd you do that for? Yeah, it was just time for a change. <laughs> and I've been well, part of it. I've been doing a lot of volunteering with the Republican Party, and mm -hmm. so I wanted to look like more like a, a respectable young man than a long haired heavy. Yeah, so. I'm, I'm not down with that. <laughs> <laughs> my, All right. hair, my hair grows so fast, though, in another three months, it'll be back down to my eyes. <laughs> yep, a fuzzy creature says, Whoa, somebody got the lice. <laughs> <laughs> okay what is the deal why is this still lagging what the heck you know what let me um first undo that save this 
I'm going to close Photoshop out and try opening it again. And look at that. We got ourselves a Mike Barron sighting. Hey, Mike. What's up, buddy? Not much. How you doing? Good. Trying to uh, get my computer to work at full capacity here, and it is failing me. You know, Edwin? Another clean-cut young man here. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know Edwin? Hi, Edwin. Of course. <laughs> well, only, only through the miracle of the internet. <laughs> yeah. The miracle of interwebs. So what's going on with you, Mike? Oh, I just got off a, another uh, stream yard with Larry Lee Stewart, who's running our Indiegogo campaign for Offworlder. Offworlder. Let's check that out. Offworlder by Mike Byrne and Jordy Armen Armengo. 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 Oh, you guys Armengo. are closing in on five five thousand. Forty-three ninety-six. If you guys have not checked this out yet, uh, Mike Barron, explain to the people why they should back this book. Well, uh, whenever I write a story, my goal is always to grab the reader by the throat and drag him into the narrative to the exclusion of all else. And this story does that. Um, right on. It's a star-spanning story about uh, a sixth-century Scots uh, uh, warlord uh, who snatched out of space and time to be the champion of an alien race. And if that sounds a little familiar, it's just coincidence because it does echo what I did Nexus with Nexus many years ago. But this is not my idea. I'm working off somebody else's outline who asked me to write this. Mm -hmm. uh, and whenever I undertake a project, I write a detailed outline before I begin. And the outline is designed to entertain just as much as the work itself is. And working from that outline, We've created this 48-page graphic novel that Jordi Armengol is illustrating. Uh, it's a star-spanning science fiction epic in the, in the tradition of the stars, my destination, or Silver Surfer. Yeah, Silver Surfer. And, and if you can see Jordi's artwork, I mean, it's just astonishing. Yeah. Hey, Mike, I've, I've read the draft of this. And oh, yeah? The draft of this. This, no, this is good stuff. This is this is a very good book. I, I would say, I would say more Exo Man of War, and Silver got that Silver Surfer kind of Herald kind of thing, with with much more blood in. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Right uh, on, is, right on. It yeah, it's beautiful too. It looks like, and it looks like Jordy has has went back in and tuned up the art since the last time I saw it. Yes, that's Jordy's coloring. He may end up coloring the whole thing. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of work. That is a lot of work, man. Why, he's just amazing. When I look at his art, it just has the same impact as the first time you see uh, uh, Barry Smith or Steranko. It just, you know, that wow. Yeah, I love this piece. It's so right graphic. Here. That is just sick, man. Well, the cover is sick. The cover is sick. I have loved that cover for a while. If you get back to that. Doc Admiral says, I plan on backing Offworlder again. Is it again and again and again? Thanks, Dark Admiral. Dark no, Admiral, the, we salute you. This is no, this is gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. That's part of the cover right there. I don't know if they have a full one up, but uh I don't, I don't see Yeah, it. with Henry Gunn right coming down. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Now, sometimes people talk about books being high tea and they lie, you know, because it's, you know, books about <laughs> reptiles and amphibians and stuff. This this is a high tea book. All right. I need to, I need to launch my dang it. There we go. This is actually a drawing stream, ladies and gentlemen. So uh we're here. What happened, Mike? Are you okay? Oh, nothing. Uh, we got a little construction going on in the background. Yeah, you could read this. You could read this book with some death metal, but I would, I would actually suggest fire up some Ronnie James Dio. Would be just about perfect for this. <laughs> Either the Last in Line or Holy Diver. What is this we're looking at? All right, so you know I'm doing my book, The Magnificent Seven. Yes. 
Right. Well, uh, Caitlin Bennett, the uh, known as Gun Girl, the young lady who goes around to colleges and interviews people. To make oh yes. Uh, she's she's agreed to do some signed uh, copies as a tier, and so because she's agreed to do that, I'm going to be doing a cover specifically for her. Great. That she can sign. So I'm doing. I'm going to do like kind of that uh, Electra Assassin thing where, where uh, you know she's holding a gun that's way too big to exist. And then, uh, <laughs> and then I'll do like you know, a portrait of her up here somehow or another. That's that's my idea, because that's kind of what I did with uh, the Dean Kane, the Dean Kane one. Dean Kane, if you don't know, you know who Dean Kane is. Yes. Yeah, he's also agreed to do a cover or uh, to sign some books. So uh, I did this. Uh, yeah, let's do the web one. And she I is uh, this cover of him. So th this is the one that nice. he'll be signing. She is an articulate young woman and has has some courage. But you know, uh, she is particularly easy on the eyes. She is an aesthetic <laughs> young woman. She's a cutie. She's a lovely young lady, and she asked that I uh, I put more clothes on her than. than uh, <laughs> that is fantastic. I love that. I think she's like, Why yeah, me too. Make me look more modest. I love yeah. it. Yeah. She's like, Mike, I'm, I'm not, I'm not down with your, with your Hollywood, with your, you know, with your degenerate ways. I'm, that's I'm, right. That's right. <laughs> Pat, you're in Hawaii, aren't you? I, I am, Mike. I am. Yeah, that's right. We got two Mikes. It's, it's Mike and Mike, Mutt and Jeff here. Yeah. Well, he's the first. Mike. <laughs> that one counts as the first Mike. So well, how'd your, you? how'd your hangout go with the dude? Well, I just uh, visited him. I was uh, at his house in Phoenix over the weekend, and we posted three videos uh, dealing with his methods uh, and his art. Oh, and very they're nice. on my Facebook page, Michael A. Beer, and I don't know if they're still there. They should still be lingering for a while. Uh, but we're very excited about the uh, release of the Gormando Saga, which is coming next from Dark Horse. And it's going to be a huge book. And I saw the art, and the art is just stunning. Mm. Uh, and, and Steve says... It's funny. He says to me that he peaked in 1989, and since then, uh, he's just been maintaining his style. Uh, <laughs> that may or may not be the case, but the pages I saw, uh, because of their design, again, they're just going to flatten people. All right, I'm on your, I'm on your Facebook. Who did you Who did you go meet up with now? Uh, Steve Rude. Facebook pages, fa friends. Michael A. Barron. Here, let me take a look and see. No, no, I, I'm there. on your Facebook. I'm just, I'm just trying to find a link to the videos. Yeah, they, they, they're down a ways if they're still there. Get away! All right. Uh, shouldn't they be on your YouTube channel, Mike? I should put them on the YouTube channel. I'm not smart <laughs> enough to do that. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Here they are. Here yeah. They are. Is, is yeah. Here they are. Channel? Is this a public Facebook or is this your, your well, it, private it's, Facebook? Well, it's my personal Facebook. Okay, I want to share that out then. <laughs> I have 4,995 uh, uh, friends, so I got room for a few more if anybody is interested. But there's the dude. I'm looking at him right now. We filmed this in his house. You want to share it, Edwin? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can share that, man. Well, here, you know what? I could share it. Uh, are you have you mastered the stream yard technology? Like no, there? hell, I don't know what I'm doing. It's a miracle. <laughs> it's a miracle. Uh, what else? See. Share screen application window. Michael. Michael A. Barron. The Okay, Archangel I just posted Alpha. that to your page, Mike. Now I'm gonna post it to Pat's page. All right. Yeah, I've got I've got the We're screen. We're gonna take here. a look at it. And then we can scroll down here. <laughs> Dude, he looks like Anthony Bourdain a little bit. Uh, Isn't he like like six six or something? He's tall. Or uh, who I'm getting? I'm not getting you, here, Pat. Are we Facebook pages friends? Who me and you? Yeah, yeah, huh? Yeah, but we're watching. We're watching it on screen already. Uh, Edwin put it up. Oh, here, here it is. Here's the boy, Edwin. Oh, you probably can't all... hear it, but you can. Okay, it says you don't allow to post on your your uh, page. Fine. <laughs> it also says your name is Edwin. <laughs> yeah. 
hats up. Nice looking stuff. Well, yeah, it's the dude. It's the dude. It's the dude. That was uh, uh, his animation cells, and they're about six inches deep uh, for the uh, animated Nexus program, which is, you know, I, I don't want to jinx it, but it is looking good, so keep your fingers crossed. Mm, nice. there, what else was he showing you? Let's see. All right, so you've been watching Sumo. Well, one it's, of it was just a segment. I, I didn't on, know what on, I know this about you. Colored <laughs> pencils. You like watching men wrestling in diapers, Mike Barron. I could have. I could have gone a couple more years without knowing that about you. Oh, you mean the sumo guys? <laughs> yeah. Hey, ex existential that's my stuff, culture, man. man. Don't be yep. my culture, yo. Yeah. Well, Mike dresses up in diapers sometimes, but he doesn't <laughs> wrestle anybody. Yeah. It's terrible. <laughs> it's just cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's great looking stuff. And it looks like Dixon made a pitch video for you too. Yeah, he did. Unsolicited. Chuck's Chuck's just a wonderful guy. Yeah, man. Off World, Off World is a good book, though. I really, I really enjoyed the the draft I read. Um, How got, much have you seen? Uh, I think I've seen. I think I've seen everything, but some of it wasn't colored. This is this was the one of the early ones, yeah. And so I, when, I don't. When we we initially ran the Indiegogo, it was run by Ben, whose yeah, idea yeah. this is. I mean, yeah, Ben yeah. came to me with the idea, and there were a lot of pages on that Indiegogo. Uh, we might have to put some more up here, but I think what Sarah speaks for itself. All right, I'm going to stop sharing my screen. And we'll All right. Put Mike's art back on there. But yeah, yeah, off order. Off order is a great story. Great story. Definitely high T. I, I like the element of of self sacrifice there. From Henry yeah, I'm Gunn. just in awe of Jordy's art. I want to work to him with him on other stuff too. Yeah, I wish it was doing better, man. It's uh. So what happened with the launch? It's uh, I didn't get I didn't get word on the launch or anything. I don't know. You know, I I'm very. I'm not good at publicizing myself or going on the internet day after day. And uh, which is one way that you get your stuff funded is just by being an om omnipotent presence on the internet and yeah. going in there day after day. Uh, but it helps to have a quality product. That's why, uh, uh, because, because I'm, I'm, technically not very smart. That's why Larry Lee Stewart is running his campaign and we're learning as we go, go along. Uh, and, and people say, well, why is the price so high? Well, the price isn't that high, but it's going to be a huge book. It's going to be a 56-page book with a 49-page color story. Mm. Uh, and again, I, I can't emphasize enough that this story makes sense and will suck you in. Uh, it will grab you by the throat. That's my thing with everything I write is to grab the reader by the throat and drag him into the narrative to the exclusion of all else. Mm -hmm. And by the narrative... Baron means drag you into the nearest alley, choke you out, and take your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, yeah, that's that's how it works. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, wasn't it? I thought James Dean bought it. No, who who bought the rights from Ben? I think James James Dean. Bought James Cosmary. Dean was in charge for about a week. Oh, really? Uh, and then. Uh, he lost interest, but his partner, Larry Lee Stewart, who runs a trucking company, has been a lifelong comic fan, says, I want to do it. you oh, got to look okay. at the book, you know. Gotcha. All right. Yeah, I didn't know I didn't know the ins and outs. You want to explain how all that came to be? Well, then, it's a convoluted tale. Isn't it? <laughs> ben was an outspoken fellow, and, and uh, he irritated a lot of people. And uh, like as that. tends to happen, they formed an online army to attack him. What? Who on earth would do that? <laughs> and so he has withdrawn from social media. And he said, boys, you know, uh, I love the book, but I'm going to hand off all the rights to you because I would like to see the book reach fruition as a fan. Of course, Ben uh, 
was the shepherd behind Ravage, Kill All Men, which Chuck Dixon wrote. Mm -hmm. And that was a big success. Oh, um, I didn't know he was. That's... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. that's Ben's only foray into uh, comic production uh, as he uh, went back to, to do what he does best, which is Internet security. And he gave us the book with his blessings. Which, and, and really, Ben was only responsible for the initial idea. And from that idea, I worked up the outline. And from the outline, I worked up the script and I brought Geordie into it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I was unprepared for the power of Geordie's illustrations. I think most people are. Yeah, definitely a freaking talent, man. Yeah, there, there, there were some, there were some brutal and emotional scenes that Jordy has rendered very well, very well. They're very, yeah. Jordy's very good at con conveying some of the emotion, the emotionality in the. Yeah, of it's a very gripping story. It's not just battle. It's about uh, Henry Gunn and his family, yeah, and how yeah. he's torn between his wife and this Egyptian princess who's forced to flee Alexandria when there's a Muslim invasion in the sixth century, which is true. Uh, yeah. And uh, her seers, her seers, <laughs> well, and her seers tell us, tell her, leave the Mediterranean, sail north and find this guy. And he will uh, not only save you, he'll save the world. So during the midst of this ferocious battle between the Scots and the Vikings, Sarah arrives in her Egyptian uh, ship and comes ashore. And of course, the sight of it stuns everybody so much that the fighting stops just long enough for her to get ashore. Uh, and then it resumes, of course. <laughs> All right, cool. Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate on drawing here. Edwin. Yes. Keep the chatter up. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's, that's what it came in to carry the water for you. Yes, <laughs> now, you guys watch Vikings? Yeah, I love it. like yeah, the first season. It's a terrific show. Uh, it wasn't, it was, again, it was Henry's idea. I mean, it was Ben's idea to start the story with uh, Henry Gunn in battle with the Vikings, which is a logical thing to happen because that went on at that time. Uh, but in our story, the Vikings have an alien ally, uh, which doesn't reveal itself until the end of the first book. And then it's a holy shit moment. Nope, oh, language, please. We're, we're PG-13 and, and below here, Baron. <laughs> Going to have to read you some scripture now. <laughs> Preach it, brother. No, we need a whole lot more of Jesus and a lot less rock and roll. <laughs> well, we, we can have Jesus and rock and roll now. Don't don't take the rock and roll away. Please. I know. I just like to say that. <laughs> um. But yeah, the first the first part of the book is straight, yeah, kind of kind of like a Viking esque story that straight historical kind of fiction, right into the action, right into the action, and then, then I guess in what the back quarter of the book, maybe the back six of the book, that's when you get that exo man of war kind of silver surfer kind of twist where you realize how big this thing is. Hmm. It has good dynamics, uh, too. I mean, it's not all intense battle scenes. There are quiet moments. There's there's humor. Uh, I had a, a writing teacher. His name was Jerry McNeely. And he said, you make them laugh a little bit. You make them cry a little bit. You scare the hell out of them. Yeah. And that's entertainment. <laughs> there's, there's a scene in there that reminds me of something out of Hawaiian history. Um, they uh, <laughs> they tried to make a landing somewhere. This is talking about before Europeans came here. And there, there's these Hawaiians fighting, and they come up on this beach and start start throwing spears at these people to try and kill them. They start catching the spears, start tossing them right back, and fight them right back into the water. But that's there's some there's some intense battle, but there is a humorous moment. Yeah, when that when that one warrior comes on land to challenge Gun. A little bit of fun there. But I, I'm so glad that Henderson turned that over to you, man. Ben was not ready for the nastiness of people on social media. He just wanted Few to make... Few people are. He, he wanted to make comics and have fun and make fun comics. And... What I, a silly I, person. Yeah. 
that's Ben just like <laughs> and Ben told me that he's like I want to meet I want to meet some of these dudes I want to hang out with them I want to drink some whiskey and I want to make some comic books and have fun yeah yeah and he did not foresee people just being some miserable SOBs <laughs> yeah you know you give people a little bit of power and it goes to their head all right so what is your what was your dark horse book again now I, I, Baron, well the I'm, next one's going to be uh it's called the newspaper strips and it's a series that dude created a couple of years ago uh and when he did it originally they were enormous i mean they're enormous they're like 22 inches long uh, which made them difficult to ship and difficult to rack in a comic book store uh, so he he took a big bath on those oh and they were just magnificent i mean i have a bunch of them here they're too big to show on the camera unless i pull way back but that's what's going into the first book uh, and of course they're going to be smaller than the dude printed them but it's still going to be an oversized book right is yeah, that he uh, he's he's not a big fan of making things easy for publishers. <laughs> <laughs> you want to add to that, Mike? <laughs> New guy from Red Bank says, "Wait, so it's Silver Surfer meets the Vikings? It's more uh, Exo Man of War meets William Wallace meets the Vikings meets maybe Terax, but not." <laughs> I'll take that. Mm. Meets, I, I guess Henry Gunn's just it, it, all his decisions seem to be that deep abiding love, not only for his family but his people. Yeah, and that kind of motivates everything that happens, right? Yes, but then he he gets snatched. Yeah, you know, like alien abduction, and they take him to the world of the Anunnaki which is a, a complete change in tone and scene because the Anunnaki are a futuristic race and Henry can barely retain his sanity when he sees their world. As you can imagine, if you took somebody from the past from 1,200 years ago and brought them forth and plunked them down in the middle of Times Square, they might go mad. Nah. It's all magic. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. Edwin, so, what are you working on? What am I working on? Uh, I'm working on tearing down some buildings. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting ready to make a promo for uh, I'm getting ready to make a promo for Dragon Guard. I'm I'm thinking through that. I got to put together. You've met Kevin Sharp, yeah? I don't think so. We may be Facebook friends. He's a longtime artist for Marvel. Um, what, what do we call it? Marvel Commercial Services, Mike? He does the uh, creative services, yeah. Creative services. He's got a cool style, but he's got he's got kind of like an, an homage book coming out. So have like, you posted any of the art? Uh where is his stuff? He's got a sign up page. Did you guys do a sign up page or did you just guys go straight into it? They just went live. All right, I'm looking at your page right now. I see a drawing of Jesus by Matthew Weldon. Oh, Moses, excuse me. Oh, I barely post any comic book stuff to my Facebooks. Most of, most of my friends are not. Now and then, if it's like politically relevant, hang on. Let me let me pull up Kevin Sharp stuff. You like this? Is Jordy set up the live stream? Yes. But it's like, uh, what's it, 5 o'clock here. Uh, it's probably 10 or 11 where he is. He's in Spain. España? No, it's just because we do that. You know we do that that weekly show, man. We do that weekly drone and quartered show. Hey, we would both love to be on that. You will be on at 10 o'clock in the morning. I will be on it at, uh, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Jordy will be on at 6 p.m. <laughs> Well, oh, it, it, it starts at 7.30. 7.30 Hawaiian time? No, my time, Pacific. So that would be 8.30 my time. And that's like 1.30, or no, that's 2.30 in the morning where, where Jordy is. But he 
the other night he stayed up till 1.30 to be with us. So hmm. we'll see. Got to do what you got to do. Got to got to bring it to the people. All right. So this this is another one of our good friends. And Mike, when you're at a pause point, if you share my screen, I'll <laughs> show him. I'll show him Dragon Guard. Wait, uh, Kevin. Kevin is real good at this at the hyper muscular style, right? And so he's made this book. Oh, that's a that's a pretty good shot of it right there. This is his own thing called Dragon Guard, and so it's kind of it's kind of very you know, nice. A nod to kind of like um, Thundercats and He Man. That kind reminds of reminds me of Mike Grell. Yeah, 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 yeah. A little bit of two. Yeah, that's that's a good observation. Yeah. I gotta next year I'm gonna grow my hair out and maybe cosplay as the warlord myself. I just gotta just gotta get the a set of Uggs and a, a nice looking loincloth. Can't do it. Did you say his name is Kevin Jenkins? Kevin Sharp. Kevin, Kevin Sharp. Sharp. Uh. Let's see. No, what what they did, what, or what he did, is he made this sign up page, and you you might want to do this on your next one. Well, Here we are. Because you can make this sign up page early, right, and so people can get ready to bank your book. And then he's got all this promo art on here, and it's great looking stuff. Kevin Sharp. He's one of the artists that, that competes with us every week on Drawn and Quartered. But yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. But before you guys' campaign runs out, that might be cool to have Jordy come by and draw with us one night. Uh, Edwin, feel free to post your uh, your crowdfunder on my page. Okay, cool. And this this isn't mine. I'm just uh, I'm just working on a. Uh, yeah. I'm just well, when you have one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go toss that on the Facebooks. Am I still okay? I'm not muted. Um, yeah, this is the first time Mike's uh, Mike's been able to jump on one of these. Yeah, because usually I'm in bed when you go on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me find this. Let me let me let me pull up the off worlder again and make sure everybody gets a good look at this. Man, I wonder, I wonder if I have that old draft saved. But it it looks like it's been. It looks like Jordy's tuned it up since the last time I saw it. Yeah, yeah, the Lazarson. That's the one. Got some nice tiers, too, here. And then some of the tiers, I thought I saw something where people could get, if they missed out on Ravage, they could get some Ravage. I'm not sure about that. I do know that dude gave me a I couple thought. of pieces of original art to give away. Uh, and we're going to probably get a couple more from him. So we're offering uh, some original Steve Rude art. Oh, that's killer, no, man. Kidding. Let's see. Open image in a new tab. Let's see if we can blow that up some. Oh, that's yeah, cool, that's man. that's one of them. Oh, there's one. And then that's the not. other. Yeah, boy. The dude. The dude abides. <laughs> You got you some T-shirts going on with the two different covers. That's cool. Guys, I got to bow out. Oh, all right, Mike. Thank you. You, you, you. Mike, you want to make a 15-second pitch on your way out the door? <laughs> well, uh, I really appreciate uh, what you said about our book, boys. And uh, all I can say is if you want a book that grabs you by the throat, that you treasure always, because it's a combination of story and art working together, take a look at Offworlder. Bam. There you go. All right. Thanks, Mike, guys. Mike Barron, ladies and gentlemen. Legend. <laughs> All right. Very nice. Something wrong with the world where a Mike Barron book doesn't just fund in the first day. <laughs> He's going to scream stuff about back holes, and then everybody, yeah. everybody will buy five copies. Take it to the back hole, baby. No, <laughs> guy from Red Bank says, I feel like an off worlder. Dark Admiral March Hare says, Leroy Jenkins. Well, at least I still have my fried chicken. Leroy. <laughs>
So how was the con, brother? Oh, it was good, man. I, I spent a little bit of time with uh, Terry. Um, and Terry's a salesman, man. But I tell you oh, what, yeah. Man, oh, he's both awesome, so man. loud when me and him started talking to each other. We're both loud and animated. People started coming in. <laughs> and I think I think just by being loud with them, I think I sold them a couple of pieces of art, pulled a couple right. of people in. Yeah. Yep, Terry is definitely a hustler, man. Yeah, no, he's a self. You know, one thing he's doing that is super smart. He's got a wide format printer there, and he is he is printing some of his prints right on the spot. Seriously. So, yeah. So rather than taking a big old heavy box of prints or cases of prints and flying to Hawaii with them, he he loaded up this he loaded up this uh, inkjet he's got, and they look gorgeous, man. The stuff he was running off. Wow. Yeah, super smart. That's crazy. He's crazy. He's crazy. All right. Well, gee, I wish Caitlin would show up here so I could uh, ask her exactly how much clothes I have to put on her. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you did you have her looking a little bit too Daisy Duke? Uh, a bit. I bet, I suppose. Let's let's see how the young woman dresses. Let me pull up her let me pull up her twitters. Pull up her twitters and I'll I'll share her twitters and we'll take a look and see see how she presents herself to the world. Well, I'm gonna whatever it is, I'm gonna get it approved before I do go to inks on this. So right, application window, Caitlin Bennett. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. You know what I didn't do is give her the give them pockets on the those little pockets on the shirts. All right, on the well, on the on her on her banner image, she's wearing uh, looks like kind of like a sundress cut above the knee. I love with sundresses a, with a, a Mulan lobby a little. Come and take it. Come and take it. Let's see. I'm looking. I guess I should go to media. Media. And then she's got a site called Liberty Hangout, too. But let's let's see how she presents herself to the world. All right. Well, that's modest. She's got a scarf. Let's see here. She's got a high neck dress. Got nice hair. Yeah. Fun to draw, sleep. man. That kind of hair. Fun to draw. You see me scrolling. All right, she, here she's got she's got like a, a baseball style long sleeve shirt. Let's see, regular shirt. Uh, you know she will wear some sleeveless dresses and such, but she really doesn't do the plunging neckline thing. She's uh, relatively modest. She'll show off her legs here and there. Yeah. So I'm trying to decipher for this. Because kind of the point of the bombshell brigade was that they did drag, drive the testosterone levels up in meltdown enough to dis dismantle its ability yeah. It looks like she'll go sleepless and and she'll and she'll wear stuff cut above the knee, but uh, I'm not really finding anything that's showing just here and there. But she, and usually she anything that shows cleavage, it looks like she normally crops out. Well, that's a, her, that's her Twitter account. Well, there you go. She says, happy Halloween, my fellow indigenous people. Oh, no, let me see this. <laughs> yeah, so I'm probably I'm probably going to maintain the costume, but I'm going to put... Actually, I'm probably going to put them all in uh, tights instead of bare legs. So... Uh, this is this is about as cleavagey as she gets, Mike. She doesn't. She just doesn't appear to do a lot of. And I'll, I'll check her Liberty Hangout and see if, because she's got herself modeling T-shirts and 
and such. Oh, interesting. Conservative students receive threats for defending Caitlin Bennett at Ohio University. Of course they do. Of course they do. Let's see what the story behind this is. Let's go to Liberty Hangout. We'd like to provide you notifications. No, thank you. Uh, All right. All right, when Caitlin Bennett visited Ohio's university campus this past Monday to film a President's Day trivia video, she was met by a violent mob of students. Caught in the fray were two conservative girls who bravely stood up for Bennett in the middle of the mob. Here is their story. On Monday, when Caitlin had come down to Ohio University, Gabby and I had been verbally assaulted by being told that we should kill ourselves and that we will see you next Tuesdays for supporting you. We had been called everything in the book. We were harassed by the group as we had left and gone on with our day and on to the days that had come to follow. We were told we deserved to be jumped, to be jumped on sight, and we were also yelled at on our walk to class. We're honestly taken back and disappointed that our fellow peers had acted like this and attacked their own classmates because we had a difference of opinion. My mom and dad had raised me with respect for other people, even if I do not agree with what they are saying, and I wish that others were too. I do not believe we would deserve to be treated like that at all. We are expressing our First Amendment right in a peaceful and calm manner. We are proud of standing up for our beliefs and not backing down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got kind of nasty with those girls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is about as, as cleavagey as she goes. Yeah, that about matches. Oh, that's boy. Right. Boy, that's a harsh transition to go from, from this young lady to go to this. <laughs> Man. Yeah, it, it looks like she balances. Like if she goes short shorts, then she doesn't have any cleavage. Yeah. Well, there you go. Not bad at all. Is that sure. a swimsuit? Yeah. Oh. It's a leotard. It's not an LGP tar LGB tard. <laughs> Is that what the T stands for? <laughs> no, that's I ah, never mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you get yourself in trouble. That's uh that's from the other channel. Yeah, sure. <laughs> this is this is art, but we are talking talking about young. Caitlin Bennett here because Mr. Miller is rendering her now. Yeah, so if I just give her some, uh, I don't know what color, but just put her in tights, then that sort of mitigates the whole leg thing. But the midriff, I don't know, that's kind of... Well, if you're going to show her midriff, then razor, razor um, the the V of the cleavage line, right? Because that, that seems to be the consistent. So if you're gonna if you're gonna show more of her stomach, then you gotta show less of her top. That seems to be the, the trade off she makes. Well she never shows her stomach. Well Shut up. That's the the. the this is the style. Of well, we just give her like a go go dancer. Give her like a go go dancer thing, so you can and you can no, have it be. Her, the characters already have the, the costumes in the in the comic book, so I can't completely change what they look like. Oh, got it. Why not? This is a cover, right? Yeah. Yeah. You can do anything you want. People. Okay. People, people stopped assuming that the, the cover and the interior contents ma matched each other 10 years ago. You're still going to get a pretty looking young woman on the, you know. Yeah, but I wanted to have some some sense of consistency. 
Uh, here, let me see. Uh, I just want her to be happy about it. So, yeah. Well, get, give her like a go-go dancer type of thing, where it's a, a one picture dancer. Yeah. Uh, go-go dancer. Hmm. I don't know about that. Um, uh, ba 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 You should do a few concept sketches, then show them to her, so you're not going back and trying to guess what she would approve of. Uh, well, what if you just went to another layer and just and just tried it out? Give her a sundress right here and see what it looks like. Because then, oh, a sundress on another layer. Yeah. So she doesn't have to have any sleeves, right? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Well, I still want her to look like super heroic. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, she will with that big old gun, the big old gun, and a sundress. Sun we just cut it, cut it where, cut it like just a little bit, a little bit. Uh, you could, you could even leave that bottom line right there. Just make it one piece. She's got an outfit like that. Just try it. See how it'll look. You could, you could draw that outline in like fifteen seconds. You're Mike S. Miller. Yeah, but I'm not deleting whatever. Perfect. Yeah, do it in another layer. Right, let me duplicate this layer. Duplication. Duplication. <laughs> hmm. Then I have to delete all this. Jay Hamilton says, listen to Edwin, Mike. Yep. I think you guys should know by now I don't listen to anyone. <laughs> We just not, <laughs> particularly if it involves a troll. Sometimes he's like, Edwin, should I do this? I just say yes now because. <laughs> yes. Let me find a good sundress. He's going to do it anyway. Well, if that's the case, then I would take the leggings off, obviously. You can't have a sundress with the leggings. No. And then, but you can give her a belt to cinch in the waistline, so you, you still get. You don't wear a belt with a sundress. You know what I mean. Completely ruins the look. Well, see how it looks. See how it looks. Start with the sundress. See if you like it. Mm -mm -mm. Roscoe Davis says hello. Oh, Please, no I know you don't wear a freaking belt with a sundress either. <laughs> Yeah, and make sure make sure you are subscribed to Mike Draws Comics, and you got the bell rung because you might not be uh, when you're subscribed. Born a sundress. There's the. <laughs> How about this one? <laughs> <laughs> well, there were pictures of her with a sundress on. I know. Oh yeah. Seven says a gun belt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you could give her a six shooter would be pretty cool. Right. Sitting low on her hip. Hmm. With that big iron on her hip. Big iron. Big iron. I didn't realize sundresses came in so many different styles. Yeah, man. It's, it's kind of a generic thing. It can be. Hmm. All right. Well. Yes. Today I mean, I was the practically dress her like Angel from. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Close to that. That's that's actually not the worst. That's actually not the worst idea you've ever had. Like, no. Big <laughs> Roscoe Davis says, just make it good, Mike. Yeah, can't believe it. I had to spend 20... 
20 month, 20 minutes talking Mike S. Miller into being less degenerate. Yeah. I can't draw pretty women less I make them less degenerate, Edwin. What? I'm trying to maintain a consistency with the interior of the book, Edwin. Your, your consistency is pudding, Mike. Pudding. That is your consistency. Uh. <laughs> hey, now. Hey, now. There you go. There you go. All right? She's got a nice waist. Looking good. A hint, a hint of cleavage, but still has the modesty, and she's looking lethal. Looking lethal. Oops, that's the wrong piece of light brush. Lara Mano says, I have an idea. Just draw her graduation photo that made her famous. Now, oh. come and take it or take it from me or something like that. Mola and Lobby, come and take it. But the the idea though is to is to not just reproduce, not to be a human Xerox machine, but to to add something new. That's right. Except I don't know what to do with their midsection here. Oh, you could put Mola and Lobby on the belt. That would be kind of funny. Captain Hilt says, "How about a Hillary pantsuit?" That's sexy. Nah. <laughs> All right. Those Hillary and sexy are probably two words that should not be in proximity to each other. Ugh. Terrible. 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 Nah, I don't like that. Don't like it too much? Too busy? I don't like the fringy. I don't know. I mean, you, you you got the you got the adornment with the um, with the pistol belts, so you don't necessarily have to go full Annie Oakley, you know. And it's with a with the simpler with the simpler dress. It's a nice contrast; it makes it jump out more. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, Pig Dog says ancient slingers sometimes wrote Molan Lobby on their bullets. Wait, what? Molan Lobby, come and take it. Slingers, you know, like David, a slinger. Oh. Just a slinger. Slanger, like in Australia. Oh, no, no. Just a slinger. Little Charlotte, she's as pretty as angels when they sing. I can't believe she's out here with these rocks and her sling. Just a slinging. Slinging. That's kind of cute. Yeah, man. Yeah. I knew you had it in you, Miller. I knew you had it in you. You know, this kind of condescension really isn't. <laughs> this is why you bring me by because I can simultaneously respect you and troll you at the same time I'm gonna send a pic over see what she thinks if she's she's probably not on Twitter right now but Some thing like this. Well, I could put her in like, well, they all have those black boots, so maybe that'll be the consistency. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that'll, ma that'll match you, though. Just go on camera. So I guess I'm not looking at you. All right. You choose. Wait, what? Oh, never mind, never mind. All right. Molon Lab, what does that mean? Catch what? Less degenerate like. Like Stu Twitter. I don't know what Molon Lab is. Oh, yeah. Molon Lobby, man. What's that? 
that is, it's, it's been adopted by Second Amendment advocates. It's a Greek phrase, right? Uh, supposedly attributed to King Leonidas, but it means come and take them. So oh. like it, right? Come and take them. You want our swords? You want our arms? Come and take them. Ah, I see. I see. So M O L O N, Molon, L A B E. Now I have to design a great big gun. <laughs> big old Overwatch gun. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Machine guns. Submachine guns. Sub. Asuka says those boots don't go with that dress. Well, the idea of maintaining the boots is to get the consistency where he, where he holds over. Um, where we otherwise have none because I put her in a sundress. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> at, at her request, young Mrs. Miss Bennett asked to be portrayed with more modesty. That's right. You know what I was thinking, though? What's that? Is that there's this... Uh, there's actually more than one gun girl. She might be the most famous, but it would be an interesting comic book to do a book called Gun Girls. Oh, yeah. And it features all the, all the gals on the interwebs who uh, rock the guns. Oh, yeah, that would be cool. Oh, that would be pretty degenerate because a lot of them rock guns with bikinis. Oh, so. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, you, you can make a you make a PG-13 book as long as it's marketed <laughs> as such. Maybe uh, someone else will steal that idea from me. Girls and guns. Girls with guns. Mm -hmm. Kuzmetti says, I'd wear that outfit, but only if it came with the holster and the gun. <laughs> yes, yes. You know what we should do? We should check on uh, Earthworm Jim and see if it's... Oh, yeah. Earthworm Jim. Have you got loaded up or do I need... Earthworm Jim. Yeah, it's on this page here. I mean, Bigfoot Bill, too. Have Bigfoot. we crossed... 50,000 yet. 50,000. Very nice. Very nice. Boom, boom. Shout out like a like a boom. Shout out like a boom. What'd you think of 1917, man? Oh, that was really good. Uh, I, did that win Best Cinematography? Because it sure as heck should have. Oh, the, the, with the, the scenes with the cherry trees. Yeah. Oh, the freak, it's, it was a single shot movie, like rope. Yeah. When he's running down the length of the, I've seen the making of when they shot that, that when he's running down the front of the trench. trench. Uh -huh. Yeah, that was nuts. I need to watch uh, the making of because some of those shots, I'm like, how are they doing that and not breaking, you know, the camera line, not breaking the, the water tension on the the water that the camera is going over. It's like, how are you doing all this? I mean, was it drone shot or what? Uh, it is a, uh, they've got a truck. They're, they're running with a dolly. And, and yeah, it's. Uh, wow. Yeah. That's impossible. Some of those shots go through things and stuff. Like, <laughs> like remember when they're in the building and and the the camera goes all the way upstairs and then it goes out the window and then it goes back down to the ground level and follows him away into the into the night i'm like how are they doing this <laughs> 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 this isn't possible those are some of the most amazing cinematography i have ever seen man yeah and just uh it's a it's a brutal movie. In yeah. Parts. Well, war is brutal. War is indeed brutal. I am a poor wayfaring stranger. 
Yeah, I did not see that coming with the uh, the Nazi dude and what he did, and I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but uh, the one in the plane. Yeah. Yeah, old man. Like, what? Yeah. Wait a minute. Traveling through this world below there is no sick, there's no toll, no danger in that bright land to which I go. Man. Yeah. He knows the whole thing. Oh, dude, can you sing it? I am a poor wayfaring stranger. Oh, wait. <laughs> Put you on the spot. Okay. okay. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> I am a poor wayfaring stranger. I'm traveling through this world of woe. Yet there's no sickness, toil, nor danger. In that bright land to which I go. To which I go. I'm going there to see my father. I'm coming there. Louder, what are you doing? No, I don't know. This is embarrassing. <laughs> my loved ones. You already, already started it. Jeez, let's finish it. <laughs> have you got that? Have you got? We'll pick up, pick up the lyrics. Johnny Cash has done, and each each version has slightly different lyrics. Pick it up at the beginning. I'm just a poor wayfaring stranger. I am a poor wayfaring stranger. I'm traveling through this world of woe. Yet there's no sickness or no danger in that bright land to which I go. I'm going there to see my father. I'm going there no more to roam. I'm only going over Jordan. I'm only going over home. There's different different yeah. versions. That's yeah, the good part. I've heard a few. Oh my gosh, I knew it. I was listening to it like a million times, like Oh, yeah. No. Oh, yeah. After the movie, after yeah. the movie, I was backing it up just because I wanted to hear it some more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you sing, um, Mike? Did you let her watch any of um, Game of Thrones? No. no. But that that song that Podrick sings, Jenny of Jenny of Old Stones. I bet she'd do a good job with that. And that's well. not the joke. <laughs> No. Jenny, there's this there's a song in Game of, of Thrones, mm -hmm. uh Eden, that uh the Padre character sings. And it kind of has the same spirit of poor wayfaring stranger. Oh yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it, uh, it it's almost like those two songs kind of serve the same purpose, don't they? And in in that movie and then in the um oh yeah the, yeah timing yeah same with old danny boy go we move home Ray Thulu says, I don't know why, but for some reason I now want to hear Aiden sing the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Do not know that song. Nope. All right, this gun is all kinds of crooked. And it's a big old gun. Oh, I know my way is. Wait, 
<laughs> I know my way is rough and I know. Oh my gosh, there's like one line that I'm forgetting. Okay, I'm gonna look it up. Where are you cold open? Forgotten a line. It's one okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I got the lyrics here. Maybe. Oops. I'm going back to see my father. I'm going there no more to roam. I know dark clouds will gather around me. I know my way is rough and steep. But golden fields lie just before me. Where God's redeemed shall ever sleep. I'm going home to see my mother. And all my loved ones who've gone on, I'm only going over Jordan. I'm only going over home. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah. And then it repeats the first part. It's hard when you look it up, though, because everybody uses slightly different lyrics. So you've, you've almost just got to, if you want to do the one from the movie, it uses, yeah. yeah. It's an old song, though. Mm -hmm. Kung Flu Kitty says, Caitlin is not to be trifled with, yo. She <laughs> is packing. That's right. With her mega gun. <laughs> the mega mega gun. That's right. We're making guns ginormous again. <laughs> what time does your green hand show start up? Uh, seven. I don't know if I should do this. Probably going to be doing a lot of changes as I do this. So how is the uh, how are the boys or are, are any of the boys over the flu yet or is everybody still hurt up? Uh, Jojo's had has some uh, new issues. Oh, poor Jojo! Um, it's it's affecting everybody a little bit differently. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm affected at all or if I'm just having sympathy nausea or just. It, the idea of all this disgusting stuff is making me nauseous. Or did I hear that you like drink a big old drink of some kind of green juice, wheatgrass juice, and fiber at the same time? Yeah, that's you making my stomach kind of bubble a bit. Yeah, you probably just overloaded your guts with fiber. Well, that wouldn't be the first time. I mean, the first thing that that wasn't my first sense of nausea. Because <laughs> if, if you look on the bottle, I mean. The green juice will probably make your round fall on its own, but uh, ah, green juice is good for you, man. It's probably got all kinds of well, I, I like to eat vegetables, I just don't like to drink them. It's probably got all kinds of fiber in it already, though. Uh, I don't know, I like bulking fiber. <laughs> I like my, let's talk about bulking fiber like a couple of almost 50 year old men. <laughs> <laughs> Colon blow. <laughs> you gotta keep that fiber bulking, baby. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike Miller from Bulk List Universe. Get your healthy fiber here. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> we could start practicing for the diabetes commercials. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Uh, you know what? 
<laughs> Awful Redneck Gaming says, Girls and Guns. Hello. Hello. Girls with guns. Dun, dun, dun. Girls with guns. Oops. Why is my hotkey thing on? I just turned it off. It sounds like your Coleco, your Coleco Vision controller is chiming at you. Seriously. <laughs> You'd have to eat 57,000 bowls of irregular cereal to equal one bowl of colon oh, blow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh. What? Colon blow. Anybody ever figure out how they harvest the nuts off the grapes to make the grape nuts? Nah. I just still don't know what those are made out of. Yeah. I think they're made out of rocks. <laughs> yeah, they're wheat rocks. Right? Jeez yeah, Louise. It's kind of grain with a little bit of added Portland cement just to give it that tooth breaking crunch. You act like you're kidding, but it's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's you, you. Yeah. If you're going to eat some great nuts, you, you pour the milk on it and you come back in an hour. Yeah. And then they're barely soggy. Yeah. It is the, uh, it is the Portland cement that gives it that crispity crunch. All right, I need more barrels on this thing. I, th you know, I think I've maybe ate grape nuts like three times on purpose ever, and it's just like, why would you? Why? Yeah, I'm trying to remember. I, I think, I think my dad used to have that when I was a kid, so I, I've had it a few times, and I'm like, ah, the hell. Yeah, Kung Flu Kitty says grape nuts look like pet food. Yeah, it looks like something you should feed your fish with. Yeah. That's accurate. And then I need to add a... She really needs a grenade launcher on this thing. Oh, yeah. Maybe a rocket launcher. Why even stop at a grenade launcher? Bam. I want people like her fans to want to buy this just for the gun. Just for the gun? <laughs> <laughs> Got a big old gun. Just for the gun, baby. Hmm. Let's see if we're missing anything. And everybody, this is Mike's new channel. Please do if you haven't already. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for bombshell notifications. That's right. Seven says a grape nut launcher. Yes. Ooh, so that you, was, you, you that's probably boring. actually, yeah, I, I think I'd almost rather get shot by buckshot than a, a shell full of grape nuts. You might, you might survive the buckshot. I don't know if you're going to Well, you know how they, they, they'll shoot people with salt, rock, rock salt. <laughs> I do indeed, sir. I grew up in the country. <laughs> I'm pretty sure grape nuts would be worse. I've caught a pellet or two in my day. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know, people shooting off their, you know, as long as as long as you're outside a certain radius with 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 like birdshot, it ain't that bad. But yeah, rock salt sucks. Ray Thudler says, I've used grape nuts as a sandblasting aggregate when I've run out of the normal pulverized walnut shells that you use for blasting soft materials. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. Brad. Uh, yep. I think this gun needs more gun. It needs more gun. You need gun on your guns with the guns. That's right. It does need a little rocket launcher on the side. It is a gun that shoots guns. <laughs> and that gun shoots grenades. This gun needs to shoot more guns. <laughs> well, you know what I could do? Um, I could put a grenade launcher. Launcher. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, <laughs> I could do like a grenade 
Well, it wouldn't make any... This isn't going to make any sense. This is... Guys, this is not going to be a working weapon. Just so you know. Because, uh... That'd be silly. But, if I can put a... Grenade launching barrel down here. Somehow or another, these grenades have to get to the front through this. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll be cool. Seven says mount a Patriot missile to it. Hmm. Hmm. That's that's not a bad idea. <laughs> Victor Rodriguez says this might sound silly, but what are grape nuts? You know, Victor, I think everybody has that same question. Uh, it is a breakfast cereal, but no one actually knows what grape nuts are made out of, where they come from. Yeah, they're like it, it is like chewing walnut shells. Like if you if you particularized walnut shells, so they're only like three millimeters big and then you tried to chew them that's essentially what grape nuts feel like i don't know what the heck man i could hear somebody rehearsing wait for and stranger in the background mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah 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 eric hawkins is saying doug garrett could send you some gun reference Oh, right. yeah. That was a great video. That's right. He got a little target practice here. Yeah. Nothing of value was art. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Should I put more than one missile on this thing? You know, can you have too many missiles? It's a good question. It's a very good question. And you have too many scopes and such. <laughs> that is a gun. That is indeed a gun. I think. I think well, she yeah. is Gun Girl, so I don't. Even, I didn't even have to give her a superhero name. She's just Gun Girl. Gun Girl. Bam. So in her spin-off comic, she will be leaving the... Uh, she's still on call with the uh, Bombshell Brigade, but she goes off on her own as Gun Girl. Siege does drills, says, oh my goodness, Edwin's here. Indeed. Good yeah, it, was, it was starting to feel like a hippie. The funny thing is, my hair grows so fast, it'll be long before you know it. But Siege... Yeah. Here, I'm going to send a copy of the gun. Just needed to change it up for a little bit. Could not import the clipboard because an unexpected end of file was encountered. Oh no. What happened? I don't, why are you asking me? I'm looking at your screen. It says. Oh. Oh, okay. I don't know. You should it just copied. It copied fine. Okay. Gotham Knight says you feel lucky, punk. Do you? Did I fire five missiles or did I fire six? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to straighten all this stuff out when I ink it. Uh, da, 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 da. Da, but you get well my hair is cut short like this you can see is just, i think i've got like twice the density of hair as a normal man it just i got a lot of hair city density all the girls all the ladies love my density mm -hmm. Just a poor wayfaring rocket launcher. 
I'm only melting all the faces. Mercy Bucket says, put a weather vane on. <laughs> uh, that'd be funny. Uh, Hold on, somebody's being, ah, forget this clown. What's going on now? Well, you know, Mr. Mr. Annoying. I shall not name him. Sure. He keeps bothering me to be his friend. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> um, was like just he he. Someone was like 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 saying, um, "Why don't you? Uh, why aren't why aren't you guys friends?" And I'm like, "Cause I don't like him." And it's like, "Well, why don't you know?" Do you have any evidence of the things that he said? I'm like, no, I don't screen cap everything. I'm not one of these guys. And so it was funny because just in one little conversation today, in three answers, he called me like five different names and stuff. And so I screen cap that little thing. And then I posted that. I'm like, see, this is why. And then someone's like, I can't see you don't screen cap. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so, uh, you know how some people like screen cap stuff and put it in a little file so they can keep it for later so they can always come back to it and start yeah. it. I'm like, that's what I mean. I, I don't want to explain it to this adult, though. No need to explain it. Both of y'all live in, I think he lives near the Bay Area. Both of y'all should just go get lunch off offline one day and maybe... Maybe just duke it out in the back of the restaurant, then sit down and break bread. Uh, I don't like him. Yeah, I don't. That's why I said duke it out first. I don't. <laughs> there's no purpose. What is the need for people that we are friends? If I don't like somebody, I don't want to. Yeah. Me, well, you know what it is. I, I think because effort it, to be friends with somebody I don't like. Everybody feels like. That this is such just a small thing. Captain Hilt says, "Just leave Twitter." Some days, no, man, because he annoys so me on Facebook too. <laughs> <laughs> He's constantly messaging me, and I'm like, I just ignore him, and it's like, ah. boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. So yeah. It'll sort itself out. <laughs> Redneck says, no, it's an art channel, Twitter-free zone. Oh, that's right. That's right. It is a Twitter-free zone. I believe Siege has the link, but she's just being lazy. <laughs> you know, this is actually a, a fairly decent likeness. I'm afraid to mess with it. <laughs> but it's so loose that I can't really do anything with it. Yeah, you don't have to find your lunch. Ugh. Wayfaring stranger. That's the right layer. All right, now I have to create another layer. Is this? Is there anything on this layer? I'm going home to see my father. I am being lazy, says Siege. Mm -hmm. oh. Like and share, people. Like and share and uh, subscribe if you're not already, please. Helen Walker says, not a real gun. Shame. Well, <laughs> it, it's a bunch of real guns mashed into one. Yeah. <laughs> with, a, with a rocket launcher. With a rocket launcher on it. Mm -hmm. Rock launcher, mm -hmm. grenade launcher, uh, what an oscilloscope? I don't know. <laughs> Dumbest name says, Does that gun actually exist? Only in our hearts. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Put an image in a new. I'm just a poor. Wayfaring puppy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can do this. Because this is, again, this is going to be just uh, breakdowns here, and then I am going to print this out and ink it proper. 
going to ink proper. So Sage says, well, actually, Mike, actually, actually, I've been drawing a ton today and I'm working on stuff right now. Mike. Oh, Mike. stuff, you say, huh? Stuff. And things, things and stuff. Things and stuff. Kung Flu Kitty says you're going to have to give her bigger arm muscles to support that. Well, that is her superpower. She can actually lift up any size gun, as long That's as right. it's a gun. A That's weapon. right. That's why she's gun girl. Oh my gosh, the more I say just gun girl, the more I want to just do a comic book. <laughs> you should, you know what you should do? You should do a sketch. After this, you should do a quick sketch with a lady, put the, the title gun girl on there and, and date it. Mike, I'm going to have to take these calls. All right, man. All right. Do your thing. Do your thing, chicken wing. Now it's just me. Me and the peoples hanging out, watching me draw and sing funny words out of my mouth. <sighs> I got nothing. I got nothing. Mike drawing awesome guns and Edwin singing to his pup. This is why I come here. <laughs> Gun girl. Is that like tank girl? Hmm. Could be. That gun is like Thor's hammer. Only the worthy can lift it. Truth. Truth. All right. All right. Um, let's see. What do I need to do here? I need to go to her eyes. These eyes. Do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. Do, do, do. These eyes. Do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. These eyes. These eyes have seen a lot of things, but they're never gonna see another love like they had with you. Do, 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 do. These eyes are crying. These eyes have seen a lot of love, but they're never gonna see another love like I had with you. Sorry, I know you guys don't like my singing. I don't know. <clears throat> but I can't read your chats. Behold the MAGA gun. Ah, oh, I like that. Us watching on mute. Oh, thank you. Uh, all right. So, hmm. No, I don't think this is right. I think her eyes are a little more to close them up a bit like this. These eyes are crying. But they're never gonna see another love like they had with you. So I've got feelers out. I don't know if you guys know. Uh, for someone who knows a bunch of the other Bombshell Brigade girls to see if they want to get do signing books and, and covers. So that would be epic. So epic. Because just one girl, well, not just, it's her and Dean Kane. Dean Kane so far are signing books. But if we could get uh, the uh, some of the other gals, maybe Crowder, maybe Shapiro. Maybe I should check my email more often. Then it would be really cool. Have all these, all these talking heads. Um, signing comics for my campaign. How epic would that be? Pretty epic, you ask me. All right. Uh, in other news today, Canada threatens military action after renowned artist Mike S. Miller criminally butchered a Guess Who song. 
I don't know. Sorry. Alex Jones signed covered. I'm just saying. Oh, I wonder if I know anybody. You know what? The thing is, I know somebody who knows somebody who knows Alex Jones. But the person that I know that knows the person that knows Alex Jones, I do not like. Although I think... Um, hmm. I think there's probably a different way to get around it. I'm not leaving now. Edwin is gone a little later, dude. I'm not leaving now. What? Thank you. Glad you think she's looking good. Any Dan Didio stories? I've never even met the man, actually. Sorry. Did you hear about Bob Iger leaving Disney suddenly, just like Dan Didio at DC? Yes, I did hear about that. Interesting, right? Um, I have no idea what that's about. The administration response was, yeah, but he drew Rush Limbaugh as Zorro, so there will be no extradition. <laughs> what? You have a problem with Rush Limbaugh as El Rushbo? It's not Zorro. He's El Rushbo. By the way, I do. I got some more colors in for Magnificent Seven, if you guys want to see that. You could probably pop those up on the screen. These eyes are crying. But they're never gonna see another love like they had with you. Uh, da, 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 da. <sighs> oh, Iger didn't leave Disney. He just lost one of his six positions. Oh, really? Hey, what's up, Cross? What's up, Cross Galax? All right, so actually, I probably want to do all this just in pencil, but since this is all on one layer, I'll just redo the hair here. These hands are crying. Mm -mm -mm. Get ready for ultra woke Disney. Do you know anything about the new guy? Is the new guy even more woke? Or is it, you know, meet the new boss, same as the old boss? If anybody knows, let a brother know. How does the goes the contagion? <laughs> Hey, Kevin, get in here, man. You busy? Busy, Kevin. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. She did it. Here I am. There she is. Oh, shoot. Look, you make me what? mess up. Hello, Siege. What's going on? Why do you sound like you're in a bathroom? I sound like I'm in a bathroom? Does it not sound good? Yeah, it sounds like you're like all echoey and quiet. That's weird. Oh, maybe it's going from my... Hey, that'll do it. Sound better? Yeah, that's that not... sound... Oh, that's weird. Usually it doesn't work. It's working now. I don't know why. What was it? That sounds better? That sounds bad. What were you doing? Can you not hear me at all? You can't can hear, hear me at all. I, I can hear you now. Can you hear me? You took Mike? it. Me or Siege? Siege. Hello? Hello, <laughs> Siege. My, my, that's not even working on my end. I can't hear anything. Oh, no. We can hear you. Yeah. I mean, I can hear it through my one head. Okay, wait. This will work. There we go. What's hey, going on? I don't know. I, I didn't have the sound on for my headphones with the with the talk piece in it. How do you say that? Talk piece? Mouth piece? 
The microphone, that's the word for it. Talk piece also works, I guess. Talk piece is good. Talk piece. Are you from Victorian England? Yes. <laughs> I've worked on my American accent for a while, so. It's, it's lovely. Thanks. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry. Are you Canadian now? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Zach Richmond says that's the clearest siege has ever sounded. True. Oh, maybe I kind of just sound like myself now. I feel like I always sound super weird in the streams. Hmm. I just figured we, that was you. you I mean, it, that could be. But we, we try not to make anybody feel uncomfortable for real reasons. You know? Yes, he does. Mike does that. <laughs> well, no, no. They're fictitious reasons, not real right. reasons. Oh, that's why he tells me my art's so bad all the time. No, that's Aww. true. No, you can't. No bad. <laughs> All that garbage you spew. I'm talking about your art, not your uh, vulgarity. <laughs> <laughs> I kid, word. I kid. All right. So, Mike, what's like? Do you, do you always want to make comics? Uh, I did. Like when you were a kid? Uh-huh. What well, was like I, the... Until, I don't know, when I was in seventh grade, we did this this art project, which was, uh, hey, create your business card from what you want to do when you're, you know, a grown-up. <sighs> and I drew myself a Marvel business card. Oh. So. What, what was like your ultimate comic that you wanted to work on? Uh, X-Men. That is ultimate. Yeah, right. Who's your favorite X Men? Well, when I was your kid, X Man. When I was a kid, it was Wolverine, but uh, yeah. I've outgrown that. Well, it, except for height, because yeah, I think you and Logan share a stature. No, we do not. <laughs> yeah, Logan's actually actually shorter than you. Really? Yeah, he's like yeah. five three. Yeah, he's five three. He's short for me. Yeah. Well. Edwin can't accept that. <laughs> <laughs> I was I just assumed that Mike was somewhere in between Puck from Alpha Flight and Logan. Somewhere in that. It's not right, Edwin. <laughs> it's terribly unfair. Terribly. Kung Flu right. Kitty says Mike is drawing amazing hair. Again, in other news, the comics bear poops in the woods. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, I'm just going to bleed this hair out right off the screen. So that's just going to want to fill up everything on the screen. Although I think my girl here might be a little too big. Because this is a full 11 by 17, which means I'm going to have to narrow, squeeze this down a little bit for the cover. What do you think about my gun girl, Siege? She looks freaking awesome. Oh. That gun's freaking awesome, dude. He's crazy. It's a big old gun. That, Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. I want to draw guns like that. I'm going to save it and I'll send it to her for approval before I ink it. Because I don't want to have you been doing that with like a bunch of the these people? Just the ones who are going to sign the books. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So, no. <laughs> I feel like you guys can hear me breathing. Like this mic's too good. Yeah, it's it's bringing out the lisp also. <sighs> oh, I have a lisp. That's not. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you sound like Weldon. Oh, uh, zing! Got it in there. She's borrowing Lobo's gun. All right. Let's see. Uh, oh, can you guys hear that? Yeah. Are you are you planing some wood, sanding something? No, I'm just like messing with the mic. I, well, that's an extreme mic. All right. Why are you messing with the mic? To the extreme. I, you're I can mic, hear like it. A vandal. I'm just checking. I don't know. You don't mess with the mic. Get it, the mic. 
That's so right. Mike. Yo, yeah, your name's That's Mike. That's right. That's right. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Asuka says, Sage being nice to Mike doesn't feel right. Don't bolster. Oh, I'm Mike. sorry. <laughs> that gun girl just is not good. <laughs> How was <Not> that? <laughs> no need to lie. The ungoodest, huh? It is the most ungood. <sighs> Maga, Kate, okay, uncover web. All right. Open. Sending. If she likes it, then I will move on to uh, inks. Now, what do I have to do? Do you have another color? Did you finish the, um, did you finish correcting Ding King? I did. Do any pages, what did you decide to do with uh, Limbo's Medal of Freedom? Do you have any pages where that needs to go back in to be handed in and post? Uh, yes, I do actually. Hold on, I got to download them now. He's Ryan. Siege, did you see 1917 yet? No, but I really want to. That looks extreme. Yeah. The trailer's like so intense. It is. It is. Epic. Like, I mean, like, think about that. Him running through that field like that. Like, that happened. That's insane. Yeah. That's like... Oh! That's insane. Oh! Ah. Woza. I just Don't got... You... Uh, I just got a... Page in... Hold on. I got to download this. I just got new pages in from uh, McCullerist, so... McCullerist. Oh, yeah. Who colors your stuff, Mike? Different people. And do you, you never like learned how to color or you just don't like to? I do. It just takes me too long. Yeah. I get that. All right. I'm going to download that. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to download. I'm going to download. You know what? I'm just going to select these and download them all. And Duracken tells us that speaking of Wilden, he's drawing a print for FPS Agent, which is Duracken's upcoming graphic novel. Which will have Sieg from FPS Agent, Tulla from Sunbreaker, and Lone Star, but a special Lone Star. What does that mean? I don't know. It mm. sounds intriguing, though, doesn't it? Interesting. Open with Photoshop. Check this out. Oh, whoa! <laughs> They're oh. turning the frogs gay! They're turning the frogs gray. <laughs> That's some awesome coloring, though. Sweet. Oh, this book is going to be epic. <laughs> uh, let's see. Open link with new window. Open with Photoshop. You're seeing these for the first time as well as I. Oh, my. Bam. All right, I'm going to have oh, to. Oh, I didn't oh, no. picture him. Quarter oh, okay, black yeah. Carrot. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> quarter black quarterback. <laughs> there goes the Shap Hero. Sweet. Wow. There's uh, El Rushbo shouting, Talent on loan from God. Are you going to put any blur on on um, on his speed lines, or are you going to leave them crisp like that? Uh, no, nah, I'll just leave it like that. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, did I download this? Download. Mega fifteen. Save. Download. What are the people in the chat saying? 14. Let's see. Uh, Brett Seagraves says that looks awesome. Sharon Marlowe says, wow, fabulous. Kevin Sharp says that looks pretty dang cool. Dragon says, wait, does that mean that Alex Jones as the fray, as the frog, is gay? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but not only is he gay, he is super gay. Um, <laughs> dumbest name says that looks way too much like Superman. 
that's kind of it's kind of the point yeah you got like a ghost rider who's that seven says pretty spectacular ghost rider is uh that's deadhead that is uh tucker carlson Deadhead. oh that's actually that's funny deadhead yeah all right I'm downloading all of these pages. I haven't downloaded them to my computer yet. So, yeah, Meltdown came out great, man. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> this this page needs to get up on Twitter though, because that is that is the bomb diggity. Yeah. Well, I'll have to do a smaller version of it. All right. Should I open up any of the other pages? Well, yeah, might as well. What do you think, audience? Would if you, you like to see to. a few more spoiler pages from the Magnificent Seven? Some spoilers. Um, got Spoiler. some spoilers here. Open with photo chop. Nice. There you go. Choose life. Choose life. That makes it's it's a double funny for people who are older and understand why it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> and then people who understand that he did the Gosling movie. This is where Dean Cain gets his real life superpower to become well, not real life, but you know. Yeah. In context. Yeah. <laughs> Real life in context. I do have to fix Tucker, though. Um, in this one. Is he looking a little... No, because I, I gave him the bow tie in this image. Right. But I gave him a straight tie in the rest of the books. And I didn't give him these spikes on his shoulders. So I'm just going to get rid of the spikes in the bow tie. The bow tie. Oh, man. I like the spikes. You like the spikes? Yeah, those are pretty well, cool. It's more work to go through the rest of the book. Yes, it is. <laughs> Commit. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Hillstrom 74 says, is Kevin Sorbo in the book? Uh, no, he's not. Check this out. Check, check, check. He legit him. just colored him like Sabretooth instead of what I did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care, honestly. He can be Sabretooth. <laughs> That's nice. He's got spikes. Yeah, he's got a necklace. It's a necklace of giant arrow spikes. Things. Yeah, spiky things. <laughs> so, yeah, you got to give him the. Yeah, you gave him the straight tie. Yep. Yeah, but I think it looks better with the straight tie, though. It's a little bit more falling down. Yeah. Man, that deadhead. He's missing some spikes on his shoulder. <sighs> Look at that. You need some spikes on there. Chat, you think he needs spikes? Mm -hmm. You guys think he needs spikes? Seriously? Yeah, spikes. All right, Captain Hilt says, lose the spikes. Rodwell Stevens says, fix it, Mike. Fix it. Fix it. Well, I don't know what fixing it means. Is fixing it losing the spikes or not? What the heck? It's putting the spikes on. We know. All that seems to be your opinion, but I don't hear that from anybody else. They, they'll, they'll say it. Come on, guys. Say spikes. <laughs> oh, Captain Hilt, don't say lose the spikes. We want him to look edgy and cool. Yeah, there we go. Spikes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Whoopses. Gigantic Android says, I'm for the bow tie. That would be hard, though. To go back in and edit out the the straight tie and put it in a bow tie and yeah. all the yeah we just really need the spikes that's all we really need. oops yeah look at that that's some quality quality spikes that's what you're quality looking. spikes ooh look at that look good spikes. <laughs> And 
here here they're drawn in all this detail but when you back out because what have you got like a 4x zoom right now uh this is max actually 100 percent. so uh but this is several times larger than the character is going to appear in the in the comic yeah so it'll look super good when he's Oh, a little a little flame reflected mm. in the spikes. All right, now I gotta go in here. Yeah, this was a good choice. It's a waste of my time choice. No. <laughs> We're having a good time. <laughs> you could actually connect the cigar so it's not just floating in space. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I love that though, the cigar floating in space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is that his power? A oh. levitating cigar? It be <laughs> art, man. It's art. Edwin, yeah. why, why are you hating on art? I have the soul of an accountant. Mm -hmm. Seriously. Mm -hmm. All right. Spikes. There. Yes, there we go. I gotta like screen capture them because I know you're just not gonna do it through the whole comic. <laughs> and you're just doing this to humor me. <laughs> <laughs> it existed once. Rudwell Steven says, whatever's more work for Mike is my vote. Sir, Legit. I like the cut of your jib. Mm -hmm. You know what I could do here? When in doubt, stress them out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at the red eyes and spikes. Yes. Overlay. Yeah. And then what I have to do here is make this. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's the way it should have looked. Excellent. Excellente. All right, zoom out. Anything else I need to change? Hmm. He's giving spikes on all the other pages. That's what you need to change. I know. I'm just doing one page at a time here, young lady. <clears throat> I'm just telling you so you remember. I'm trying to remind you. Uh -huh. Keep it drilled into your head. Uh -huh. Is there any other shiny services that should have some kind of lighting? Is is Deadhead's furry head lighting anybody around him in that panel? I'm not going that deep into this, dude. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. There's a poor, wayfaring Deadhead. That's so weird. Oh my, that's not supposed to be blue. No, it's not. Oops, I had the wrong button. Duracon says, Siege seems to have jumped on just to back seat art. Yes, yes. it is the best. Yeah, she does that. <laughs> I'm just giving my best suggestions here. What I think is really going to make Mike's comic shine. Go and back to go back to El Rico's neckline. Hold on. Ooh. Actually, when you get a chance, can you zoom in on Ingra Hammer's face? Can you hold on a second? No, no. It does look nice though. Give it a little. <laughs> A little pizzazz, a little pizzazz with the lightning. Not done yet. Wow, hold on to your seat. Gaussian blur, all the gauss. A strange magnetic field. <laughs> yes, uh, with the Ingra Hammer's hammer, she can restore hard drives that have been wiped and read all of something's yeah. something's odds going on with her mouth there yep mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. is boom, 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 boom. yeah kung flu kitty i should get it credit because i did help 
<laughs> Spike for everyone. For sure, yeah. Of course, why not? Yeah, Cut it for put, everyone. He'll put me in the credits. Yeah. Don't worry. Sure. That'll happen. Although, <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. well, I might want to do this as an overlay. The, the shadow on the right lip crease might just be a little too heavy. That little black mark. Yeah, it depends on when you zoom out, though, what it looks like. Man, those spikes look really good. It's like the first thing I noticed. I'm like, whoa, look at those spikes. <laughs> Oh, I gotta merge it before I save it. Ah, let's see what else. The Rushbow needs a transitional shadow, so it looks like he has a chin. Uh, no. <laughs> right there, I'm telling you, I'm looking right here. It just looks like jowls, just like bloop. Oh, yeah, pretty mm -hmm. much. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Yeah, it looks good. Quarter black. Quarter black yeah. is not black. I'm going to have to go ahead and fix that. Nice foreshortening. Are you just saying he's short? No. <laughs> that was actually not a joke at all. That was, <laughs> that was a compliment. I know they surprise you when they come. This is the art channel. Welcome to the art channel. Welcome to the art channel. Welcome to the art channel. Everybody's thumbs on the right side of their hands. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Why did I tell you about that? That does happen a lot. No, the foreshortening on him is actually pretty good. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right. Save that. Did you see the picture that I did for uh, Zach's comic? What? Um, Goma, the Goma picture I did. No. You didn't see it. You should go on it and retweet it. What is it now? I don't know what you're talking about. Zach Bradley's comic, Goma. Uh huh. Yeah, I did a picture for it. And you want me to stop what I'm doing now mm -hmm. and go do something for you? Yeah. <laughs> Seems a little out of character. <laughs> it's not out of character for me to ask you, though. No, no. To drop what you're doing. That's do true. Do something for me and not you. That is accurate. Mm -hmm. uh, are, you, are you consistent with the color, uh, or is the color consistent on uh, Dr. Savage's jacket? Uh, yeah. I mean, so far, I think. <laughs> Though I do kind of want to make this area, like, a little more blue. Kind of wanted his, his under undercoat to... Be a little reminiscent of uh, Reed Richards. And that does mm. stuff. Mm. That makes sense. Oh, yeah. Looks like he's wearing a dickie. Hey, watch your mouth. <laughs> That's what they're called, Mike. I can't help it. Does, his, um, does that right, right sleeve cuff need any shadow in the interior of the cuff? Hold on. 
Crowder will indeed, or that is strange animal, will eat your face off. Yes. Um. Oh, oh shoot, dang! Do you have any? Think about that. He should, but gosh, am I have to do that to the whole thing? Go. Open with. No, he didn't have any sleeves. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> oh. uh, although I might have to go in here and get rid of Cecil because he's annoying me now. <laughs> oh no, really? And look, you have brown hair. What's up with that? Just add me instead of Cecil. You know you want to. Do I? Yeah. Do I really though? Yes. Does that really seem necessary? Yes. Everybody wants you to, too. I don't see anybody they will, saying that. Like that. They will. Just wait. <laughs> you may have to start a petition. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. You have to retweet it, though. Actually, we need we need 10 more sign-ups. Got to see the sign-ups go up. If you, want, if you want Siege to appear anywhere in the book, we yes. need at least 10 more sign-ups than we Sign have right up. now. That'll be my face reveal. <laughs> oh, I can do that right now if you want. Don't reveal my face. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Don't you. Add seeds. Hashtag under seeds. Look, the people want what they want. They know what they want. Add siege. Look at that. Two people. <laughs> I don't see anything. Yeah, Mr. Hellstorm says add siege. I don't see anything. Dedicate the book to Siege. Oh my gosh. Dedicate the book to Siege. Mike, what would your dedication to me be? Uh, it's a great. It'd be question. like my yeah. my inspiration in life. You are my Siege. inspiration. Siege. <laughs> my reason for living. Wait, what? What? Let's not go get out of hand here, young lady. I was already out of hand. Yeah, that's true. Seven says she better have spikes. Yeah. That's close enough, right? Yeah, yeah, right. man. It's that's it's definitely more than close enough. And then this guy had gray hair. It's like what? <laughs> this is my horrible Weldon. That's Weldon. His face is too lean. That well, is not Weldon. Well after. After he's been on a, a peanut butter fast. Yeah, yeah, that's that's Weldon on five months of keto. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he couldn't do that. Oh. Also, you have to redraw Edwin's hair now because that's what you want to look like. No, leave it like my hair. My hair will look like that in three months. <laughs> <laughs> my hair goes fast. Cover up Dom Deloise with Siege. Confirmed. Uh, Kev. I it's don't know. Confirmed. I don't know who this Kevin person is you're talking about. You know exactly who he is. All right. Let's give this hair a little... Wilton's kind of brownish blonde, kind of similar. Yeah, he's like Captain America. Well, yes, he is. Don't. <laughs> but he's, but he's, he's more like crap. Yeah, like that. Hair. No, he's not. <laughs> That's like his hair color right there. 
If, 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 if Captain America did like an eight month cycle of wimperoids and, <laughs> and, and ate nothing but donuts and snacky cakes the whole time. Okay. Yes. I don't it's support this message. Just <laughs> yes, well, Miss Captain America. <laughs> of all the people to give pink hair. Oh, well. Order she's, of the green hand. Come on. No, nah, yeah, she's got to have blonde hair. It's not, not going to look right. Doesn't she have more of like a, an elfin kind of chin that comes to like a point? What are you saying? I didn't do it perfect, Edwin? News flash. Uh-oh. That's your streaming buddy, though. You got to you gotta get her right or you're going to hear about it. Hey, you're the one that was like, hey, just draw this really fast. Don't worry about nothing. <laughs> but now, now that you have the time to... To I make it great. We've got to fix crap. Making it great. Taking a break from all your worries. Sure would help a lot. Wouldn't you like to get away? This is like Edwin's theme. Sometimes you want to go. There we go. Da, 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 da. And what is the deal with not giving girls lipstick? Yeah, give her some lipstick. Right? Doesn't she wear lipstick? Yeah, Mr. Murgatroyd. Yeah. Zach Richmond says, is this an art channel? I had no idea. Really? <laughs> I thought it was a joke channel. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> She still got a little purple haze on her dome. Purple haze. Ugh. No drugs. Still got a little blue here. <laughs> that iris is just breaking out. <laughs> I'm yeah. oh, in my brain. Uh -huh. Lately things don't seem the same. Boom, boom, boom. Acting funny. I don't know why. You're only young. Give me while I kiss this guy. Double haze. All right. Much better. Now, I don't know what to do with this guy. We already confirmed. Or are you dedicating it to me? One or the other. Oh my gosh, are you cereal? <laughs> I am cereal. But then I have to look up your picture again, which means... No, not that one. That was just for the, the Game of Thrones one. What? Yeah. That I, thought picture. Wanted, I thought you wanted me to put you in. Oh, you didn't want me to put you in here. No, no. I'm saying not that picture. Oh. So Unless you want to. I guess that would see what's happening. Sending, freaking send me a picture. I don't even look good right now, Mike. Can you wait? No, I can't. Okay, fine. I have to get done right now or it'll never be finished. Really? <laughs> no. I know. What color should he be wearing? Is black okay, you think? Yeah, black is okay. White eyes. What Gold. face should I be Ooh. making? Like screaming or like... Super confident, and I'm not gonna die. Ah. No, you're you're gonna die. I mean, so Kevin says make him wear a pink cat hat. You mean Cecil? Put him in a in a woman's march toboggan. Little white highlights. Or I should be like taking a selfie, right? Running through, like, oh my gosh, you won't believe what's happening. <laughs> I just saved a little my auto insurance. Oh. Hey, you got Gary right. You got the nerd rotted colors wrong. <laughs> Was it yellow? Uh, I thought so, yeah. Let me pull up the. Oh, wait, I wanted to show my teeth, though. Yeah, it's yellow, man. Kind of a, it's yellow trending towards orange, but it is yellow. It's 
Excuse me while I kiss the sky. Wow, that looks just like Edwin. It's <laughs> like a really good Edwin. More orange in the yellow. Yeah. yeah fine. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Oh, you're not watching on stream or StreamYard. Oh, I'm watching on yeah. Yeah. Acting funny. I don't know why. Is that the American Avenger in back or a balloon animal? That's the American Avenger. <laughs> you don't get to tell me. <laughs> oh, it's. Oh, your tears are like sweet honey. <laughs> <laughs> They're turning the frogs gay. That is so good, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> should I give him red eyes? Well, I was wondering, should there be like blood veins? Should be there in the transitional phase? Should there be like little red blood veins instead of just the? I don't know. I could. Hold on a second. Deselect. Yeah, opacity in there. Brush. Overlay, multiply, hue, overlay. That looks cool. Yeah. Yeah, that one looks cool. Like Darth Maul eyes. <laughs> but like in the transitional phase here, you see where you got like the little black. Should oh, black. yeah, that's a color hole. Oh, the I have a layered file in order to do that and make it easy. Oh, got it. However, I should probably make his eyes red if they're turning red here. <laughs> Yep. What is the freaking thing? Why are my hotkeys? Why are they? <laughs> I mean, they're not allowing me. Don't to don't frog out. Blinging, blinging. Power of language. They're turning my hotkeys gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! I want to change. That's what happens when you take too much super male potency. Oh, what's what kind of madness oh. is this? Bigfoot Bill 2. $50,534. Get in there. Oh, oh back blah, 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 blah. Gigantic Android says the answer to 1984 is 1776. Or 1812. In 1812, we took a little trip. Wait, what? Down the mighty Mississippi. We fired our guns and they began running. Oops. Right. And they ran a little more. And. Oops. Select and no, you. That's fine. Wow, those look so cool. All of them. Oops. Yeah, boy. Nope. Yep. Oh, no. Yep. I kind of like that one. 
that one's like cool, that. yeah. Well, change one and back it out. Ooh, that one's kind of cool. Oops. It's cool and they're like the red and blue like that. I'm going to just go with color, though. That looks pretty good. And then I could also, uh, let's see, G. <sighs> oh, I thought you were going to do them like turning red. So, like, they were going to go from a pupil red to blue kind of thing. And then he's the frog in the red. Just making suggestions. A suggestion? A siege jection. Oh. We took a little bacon and we took a little beans and we fought the British in the bloody battle of New Orleans. There you go. How's that? That's pretty cool. That was yeah, pretty cool. Boy. It is looking dope. Right. Looks very that's froggy. That's red. Though his fingernails are the same color as his flesh. Deal with it. <laughs> Here's what I need to deal with. Gosh, dang. Oh, shoot. Should probably add some spikes. <laughs> Go. You're so helpful. I know, like I try. Beef up them veins a little bit. Yeah. Beefy. He's juiced up. Oh, yeah. Like all the gay frogs today. <laughs> it is super male vitality. Yeah, I don't even know. Is that that's a vet, vet vitamin thing he sells or something? Yeah. Super male vitality. Oh, did they discontinue it? Yeah. Let me go to Infowars. Wait, what? How dare they? Infowars. <laughs> There's a war on for your mind. Your mind. Do, 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 do. Look at that. I'm going to the store. <laughs> Alex Jones. It's super silver. There's DNA force. Ultimate fish oil. No, I won't. Ooh, what is Ultra 12? Ultra 12. Uh. All right, Caitlin likes the design. Nice. What'd she say? You want me to read a private DM? Yeah. All Let's right. get into it. It's nothing. She said, wonderful. That's perfect, actually. Thank you for being willing to change the clothing. That's very much appreciated. Oh, what was her clothing before? He had her all daisy duped out. Nice. <laughs> Mr. Hellstrom 74 says, in my experience, most gay frogs hang out in water closets. I didn't know he had that experience. That's interesting. Tell us more about that, Mr. Hellstrom. So, <laughs> where there's WCs, there's gay frogs. That sounds reasonable. Oh, that's true. That's <laughs> there might be a code in there, I'm not certain. I'm not either. Do you think this is him turning green enough, or should I throw a little more green in there somewhere? You mean like his green. skin? I think or you're not? turning green. I think you're turning green now. I think you're turning green. I think you're really turning green. I really think so. So yeah, so. he needs to be greener. Oh, a little greener makes him meaner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm really green. True. True. I am an olive. What's your nationality? I am Native American and Irish. Ah, which tribe? 
Um, I don't know because my grandma wouldn't let us talk to my grandpa for specific reasons. Oh. Yeah. Well, clearly you're Apache then. I'm Apache? <laughs> like the pirate? <laughs> what? What? The pirate? <laughs> you know Apache the pirate? No? Okay. No, that, that's not a thing. Yes, it is. No. Yes, it is. Patchy the pirate. Up. Back me up, guys. No, are you are you an Indian outlaw? Have to I'm not allowed Choctaw? to discuss it. Are My baby, ready? she's a Chippewa. She's one of a kind. She's a friend from a bear claw. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Tim McGraw song. Oh shoot! Hey, I liked it. Oh shoot! Thought you'd have to do that all over again. Uh huh. Nah, nah. <laughs> just a great page. <laughs> I know, right? It's so much fun. All right, do another layer. Gee, let's green you up, baby. Green. Wait, no. I'll do it right in the middle. She's one fourth black. I'd be one fourth red. LOL. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, that gave it a little bit more. It's starting to feel like it should be embossed, like it's coming off the page. That's nice. If that holds up in print, that's going to look real good. Let's see how this looks on the other screen. All right, that's too blue. Yeah. There we go. Oh. Dark Admiral March here says, I am a half Irish in all pirates. Yo nice. Ho, he's coming for your booty. Oh, he is turning the frogs gay, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, that, that color shift right there in the center definitely gives it more. Papa dude. Yeah, yeah. More I'm popular. always sitting here doing color corrections on stuff, man. You know, if there was a different cover, the way his hand is, if you emboss that, that would be. <laughs> <more nice. laughs> hey, you know what? If I can get Alex Jones to sign some of these books. I will do an Alex Jones <laughs> game for <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> All right. That's enough of this page. Bing. Boy, Mr. Miller, I need to get some work done. It is almost it's almost six o'clock here town. It is almost the witching hour. Ooh. I thought that was twelve. Ah shush. Down in Fraggle Rock. <laughs> Down a Fraggle Rock. Yeah. He is not quite as cuddly as a Fraggle. They call him Yuck Mouth because they don't, they don't brush. brush. <laughs> I'll buy a little kiss. I got <laughs> in my teeth. I got some chicken too. Ow, that's a cavity. Hey, that's new. So if you don't brush your teeth, then hey. Kids, you too can be a yuck mouth. Yeah, no brush. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Miller. I'll catch up with you later. All right, brother. All right. Aloha. Bye, Siege. See you, Edwin. Edwin. All right. Let's give that a little blur. Filter, cause a blur. There we go. Beauty. All right. This is all kinds of fun. Yeah, this is super fun. Have you been Just doing watching stuff? Huh? Have you been doing anything? No, nah, you're distracting me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Delivering the Ingram angle with the Ingra hammer. That's right. Cracking down. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. I don't know. Should I... Leave these guys like red. Oh yeah, they look cool like that. 
Whoa. Begging for their lives. That's where you really want to draw me. What? <laughs> Underneath. <laughs> That's where you'd want to oh, draw right me. Here. Yeah. yeah. Squished. You are actually right there. That's oh, thanks. You drew me in there. <laughs> you thought of me. I need to add... What time is it? I think I need to take a break before this other show. All right, we got about 10 minutes left. What other show? Oh, I'm going on uh, Order of the Green Hand tonight. Noise. What are you guys talking about? Uh, I don't know. Me drawing like usual. Do you know what we're doing for tomorrow? Yeah, we're going to do... Um, Bigfoot? Bigfoot Titan. Bigfoot Titan. Yeah. Oh, like a mashup? Well, no. I mean, I guess you could, but like. What do you mean one or the other? Bigfoot and Titan. Oh, like, that's cool. Oh, that's a good idea. Now I have an idea. Yeah. All right. What color is this award? I can't remember. Gold, right? Big gold. I would say gold. So, wait, if you grew out of Wolverine, then who's your favorite X-Man now? Um, oops. I don't know, really. I mean, the ribbon is blue, right? I would say blue. But I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I stopped paying attention to X-Men. Long, long ago in a galaxy far, far away. What? Oops. Those are like some of my favorite movies. The first ones, I mean. Some of your favorite animes? No, movies. Oh, movies. The three older ones. Right. And then they got all stupid. Yeah. <laughs> they did. Rhaegar says, what other show? We're gonna. I'm going to be on Order of the Green Hand in uh, about an hour. What time is Green Hand? In about an hour. <laughs> oh, yeah. I need to answer one of their questions. 10 p.m., right? Uh, oh, I guess I should read it for you. I'm your assistant now. <laughs> there you go. You know Meltdown's composition is a bit like Season 3 Stranger Things Mind Flare? Oh, my gosh. That's true. Oh. Did you watch the Season 3? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. He, he gooped up all the people. That was really nasty. Yeah, it's disgusting. Next stroke. stroke. Oh, yeah, Logan was really good. That movie was really good. I thought that was insane, the way they had, like, I've never seen a little girl play a part like that. That was really intense. Yeah, she did really well. All right. Okay. I think the stone in the middle is boil. Let's go with that. <laughs> <laughs> I could just look it up. Yeah, it well, it wouldn't be not, that much work. That's not as fun. Yeah. So we'll just go with blue. Right. Yeah, yeah. That sounds. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I believe. There's a white stripe on the outside here. There is. I totally know. Do you? No. You're really not being that helpful. No, but that's our chemistry, isn't it? <laughs> you not being helpful while I'm doing something very important? Yes. Yes. Sadly, it's true. Yeah. If you want to view it as I personally love it. <laughs> Oops. Dang it. Why isn't this eraser? Ah, that's fine. How's that? Yeah. That, well, was awesome. right. that looks exactly the way it's supposed to. Thank you. Perfect. Then you're welcome. It's probably like 
It's probably not true. Nothing like it. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Rhaegar says Wolverine was always trying to get Cyclops' wife. Yeah, that's true. It's true. His wife, dude. I mean, but that was her fault, too. She liked Wolverine. I know, whore. Yeah, the whore. Such a whore, that one. Honestly, Scott, I don't know why you were attracted to that one. She's such a whore. A whore. Kevin says cleavage line? What? what? I don't know. Oops. Who's cleavage? Kevin. Oh, Rush has boobs, he says. Boobs? Those are Ooh. pectoral muscles, young man. Oh, I see. He does have the cleavage line. No, he's got huge, massive pecs. He's got man boobs. He's got massive pecs. Boobs. He's got massive pecs. I don't understand why you guys are arguing with me about this. Siege fills a very important role, busting Mike's chops. That's a good comment. Thank you. I don't even have to try hard. I know, right? It just comes so easily. Talent on loan from God. I feel like he should be slimier, though. But I also feel like that would take me a lot of time and effort. Then you should probably do it. You're terrible. Yeah. What happened? You zoomed in. Why is there a... Oh, oh, he's got the zoom. That's thing. his, yeah, his... Uh, he's got his the zoom, blur. zoom, zoom. Yeah. All right, here we go. Our new layer. Here come the spikes, you guys. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Doesn't look like a spike. Spike's going to cover up his beautiful jaw. Eh. Spike's better. Spike. Hello? Yes. What? What, Eden? Asking what? Uh, hold, please. Holding. Hey, you guys. We're just sitting here watching Mike talking to Eden. Unmuted. And there he goes. All right. Hi, Eden. Those spikes look so good. Oh! What'd you do with my board game? Yes, he is going to be drawing a lot of spikes. Excellent. Hmm. Hmm. So good. Look at those spikes, you guys. Well worth it. It was a lot of hard work getting Mike to do it. So well worth your time. Yes, it's well worth my time. Does that mean I should do them on the other shoulder? Nah, he would. You wouldn't see him on this at this angle. You probably see like two tiny points. You wouldn't see anything at this angle. Siege is Nothing. Ghost Rider. Awesome. Yes. She's what? I'm Ghost Rider. Oh, are you? Yeah, I wear a lot of spikes. Oh, okay. That's yeah, that's my my aesthetic. Hey, Victor, what a you got a what? Okay. Taking notes on what? You might be able to what? What later tonight? Because I have a uh... wait. How am I supposed to pick her up? Oh, okay. Yeah, because I'm on I'm on green hand in an hour. Okay. <laughs> Look at this mess, Tio. You freaking rushed through the stuff. Oh my gosh! What a catastrophe! A right? catastrophe. That's terrible. 
Not really good with the puns, huh? No, that was a really good one. You just didn't get it. No? No, it was really good. Was it? Yeah. Was it really? Siege is more like Jubilee. What's Jubilee? Oh my gosh, I hated Jubilee. Jubilee from X-Men. Jubilee from X? Oh my gosh, you don't know who Jubilee is? Well, That's let me see, let me see if I do. She's the one that chewed the bubble gum and and uh, made fireworks with her hands. <laughs> oh well, yeah, she's pretty cool. Her design is cool anyway. I don't I don't know what she's like uh, at all. Design is terrible. Jim Lee designed her. Okay, let's not talk about Jim Lee. Why? What do you have because against Jim Lee? I don't have anything against Jim Lee. Every time I talk about Jim Lee, everyone's like, "Oh, Jim Lee, that hack, that guy, he can't even draw." Wow, everybody thinks that it's terrible. Yeah, he can terrible. draw. He can draw. Yeah, he's That's awesome. Accurate. It's not true. Oh man, Siege is so young. Lol. How do you know? Where? What are you guys talking? About? I'm not actually Jubilee. <laughs> It's true. Like, he does not I'm, actually jubilee. No. <laughs> what on earth is happening here? I'm more like Rogue. Rogue would be my... Jubilee was hot. I'm not sure what Mike says. Oh, my brother says Jubilee was hot. He doesn't care what you say. <laughs> Your brother's into Asian girls, huh? Yeah, he always has them. I mean, I think he's just into girls. I don't think it matters. He likes those workout chicks. <laughs> That's fair. No. I'm going to give this a little bit of Reflection off of the vines. Rogue was hotter. Rogue's like the hottest. Yeah, for sure. Not as hot as Kitty Pride. Kitty Pride's not hot, I don't think. I think she's cute. Yeah. Kitty Pride, you'd marry. Yeah. But then Rogue, you don't bring home to mom. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Yeah. Plus, she'll kill you when you try to make out with her. Yeah, that's me. Oh, all I'm, right. Well. I'm totally rogue. Like, obviously, I'm just this totally. Yeah, you do suck the life out of people. Yes, exactly. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I could see that. All right. Fair enough. Storm with the mohawk. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Storm has some cool designs. Yeah, if I'm going from back in the day, um, I would have probably said Storm was my favorite X-Men after Wolverine. I like her in that white suit. That's pretty awesome. But her white hair is like so... That's so cool. I always wanted white hair. Well, you could dye it. I know. I thought about it, but... I don't look good with blonde hair. Oops. That's not blonde. It's white. Girl. Yeah, but I don't look good with light hair. Obviously. Nice job. I'm just calling you. If I can't be blonde. I mean, I might try it someday. What X-Men character do you guys think Mike is? Hmm. Victor says Siege is more like Cable. Yeah, I'll take it. Just wait 50 years? No, then I'll dye my hair dark. Oh, because oh, <laughs> it'll be white? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh. I wonder if my color, my hair is ever going to go gray. Probably not. I don't think so. I It probably would have started already. I know. Nice job. Girls, she never well, left. So mean. Girls with white hair look good. Guys with white hair look like Steve Martin. That's pretty funny. Steve Martin That's probably good. true. 
Oh, Steve Martin's cute. Is that what you said? No, Steve Martin looks good. Oh well, yeah, he looks really good. Mike is like Forge. Mike would be Morph. Morph. Gambit. You're not Gambit. Don't. Oh, he, somebody says the Blob. Mike is dupe. I don't like this game. Kev says I like this game. It's really fun. What? What's another thing we could compare Mike to? <laughs> what? What? Uh. Okay. What Stranger Things character is Mike? That's not a good one. But answer it anyway. The Northern Gay Asian guy. Victor says. But what? Now that's interesting. You did just say how you were like gonna kiss a guy. What? Hold on while I kiss this guy. You said that earlier. The sky. Oh, right. Not this guy. Mm, okay. Still. No, that's not still. <laughs> There's no still involved. There. I could see Forge. People are saying Forge. Mike could also be Toad. Now... Let's not say that because Ray Park was Toad and he was awesome. We can't compare Mike with Ray Park. You can. No. You can. You're allowed. That's fair. That's not part of the game. No. You know, I'm just going to leave this. Are you going to make him slimy? me? No, that would be a lot of work. Oh. And we're not interested in more work. We are not interested in a lot of work. <laughs> I think you should put spice on everybody's shoulders, and that's like their crew thing. That's only a little more work. Yeah, that's not going to happen either. <laughs> You're just full of bad ideas tonight, Siege. No. I had a good one. Which one was that? The spikes. Mike is fully exasperated. It's true. <laughs> I got work to do, man. I'm letting you work. You're trying to give me more work is the problem. It's work. I'm trying to make you money, kid. How? How is spike the spikes? Yeah. It sells. Huge, huge uh, spike contingent out there. Yes. Who wouldn't have bought the book otherwise. <laughs> I wouldn't have. Now I will. Because you put... Why, well, you aren't going to buy my book? That's messed I up. Don't say that in front of people. I can't answer. It's messed up. It'll, it'll ruin my cred. <laughs> I can't admit to things. I should have gonna buy my book. That's my stuff. That's fine. Whatever. Don't. You just fine. want me to say it in front of everyone. Fine. I don't care. I'm not gonna say what? It. Seriously. Yeah, you still, you still care. What difference does it make? Whatever. All right. Whatever. All right. All right. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, like you can't adjust the colors on this without messing up the rest of the pants. Shoot. What do you mean? Because because there's a glow here. Oh. So it's going to mess. I have to do this with a, maybe an overlay. What Thundercats character is Mike? Snarf. What character is Siege? <laughs> Tara. Thanks. Oh, my gosh. I support that. I find that to be ridiculous. You don't think I look like Chitara? Uh, no. I totally do. If you think so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now that that's blue, shoot. see what happens? That looks really good. Oh, uh, now I have these weird cuts. I'm just uh, trying to be supportive. Oh, my God. I don't need your lies. <laughs> now it looks way better, Mike. I need the truth always. Always the truth. Okay, well, buckle down. 
Here we go. The coloring looks pedestrian, Mike. That's not even true. The coloring's so good. And that's the truth. I don't even know what pedestrian means, so there. Yeah, because we're not pedestrians. We're cutting edge. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever that means. I don't know. Top. <laughs> we're top drawer. Top drawer. That sounds like something Matt would say. Yeah, it does. Top drawer. Top drawer. He'd be like, "What's something he says that's so funny?" Oh, he'll say like, "Cool cat," stuff like that. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Uh, where is he? I don't know. He's like never around. I know, right? It's like he only shows up for for auctions and uh, drawing and quartered. And other than that, he's like persona non grata. Yeah, he's like peace out, cool cats. I don't need to know you. Yeah. You think he's using us? He's using us. Oh my Hard. god! Because we're cutting edge. It's true. All right, got to E this out, save it up. There we go. That's how it looks. Bam. Yeah, that's how it looks. The way it looks. I feel like you're mocking me. No, I would never. You would never. <laughs> you wouldn't his metal, never. His medal is perfectly right, I oh, swear. Oh, oh, I forgot. This. The golden EIB microphone. It's supposed to be gold. Oh, I keep clicking on the wrong page. Ooh. Go, go, go. The golden EIA. Those dirty pedestrians. I know, right? So, so, the, uh, what is it? The peasants are revolting. You Look suck. Up. They stink on ice. I'm sure you don't know what movie I'm quoting. No, but I'm really bad at movie quotes, even if I've seen the movie. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you did the metal like perfectly right. What? Yeah, except like there's red between the star points. That's crazy. You did it like I just looked it up. Oh, <laughs> now you look it up. Thank you so yeah. much. <laughs> I didn't want to do it at the time. It would have been less entertaining. Right. Right. All right, let's see. Do another. A little bit darker. A little bit darker now. A little bit darker now. Don't forget to see you, Will. All right. Deselect. Zoom, 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 zoom. What were you quoting? You didn't say. Oh, um... We'll see if anybody knows in the chat. Oh, did anybody say anything? I don't even remember what I said. But it was I don't either. History of the World Part 1. It was what? History of the World Part 1. No, I didn't see that. I know you didn't. I know you haven't. Have you seen Blazing Saddles? Yeah. Oh, okay. A really long time ago I saw it. Long, long time ago. She saw Blazing Saddles, yo. All right, um, that's it. I'm going to bow out so I take a break between streams. Okay, um, yeah, I'll stay here and man the fort. You bow out. <laughs> Kevin Sharp knew it. <laughs> <laughs> they stink on ice. All right, well, thank you, everybody, for being here. This has been, although, uh, okay. what? Dennis doesn't have a wrench on my art channel? I don't either. You don't? No, well, that's so well, weird. Fine, hold on. Let me sign in to my yeah. Give me a ring channel, so then I can go to your thing. And I can... Just to let you know, I won't take it seriously, and I won't block anyone. 
if you wrench me. I'll just be like, I got a wrench. All right. Who do I need to wrench here? Dennis Baruch. Me. You are a wrench. I have a wrench or Dennis does. Dennis. Oh. Kevin Sharp. You have a wrench. I'm not going to get a wrench, you guys. I swear. He's not going <laughs> to <get a wrench. laughs> I'm just scrolling through here to see uh, who I recognize that needs a wrench. That needs a wrench. That needs a wrench. Don't be a siege wrench. Don't do it, Mike. <laughs> yeah, I don't even see you in here, so I couldn't give you a wrench. I don't know. What? You don't? No, you'd actually have to type something in there. Oh. Uh, let me type something. Siege is going to be like, I have the power. I have the power. <laughs> Whoa, what? I didn't type that. That's crazy. Is your brother on your account? No, I typed it, Mike. I was being sarcastic. Oh. I you see. can't even tell anymore. That's so sad. I know. It's pretty sad. This is just life now. All for Redneck Gaming. Oh, you already have a wrench. All right. All right. All right. All right. Wrenches. I'll block her. Thank you, Dennis. <laughs> um, okay. Going back. Going back. So uh, I will be. Why does it keep. Oh, I'm doing the wrong thing. Uh, I will be. You just say I will be and then leave. <laughs> uh, what, Mike? I really did that, didn't I? <laughs> Siege is gone, too. They're all gone. What happened to Siege? Siege just bug it out. All right. Well, uh, I was going to say, because uh, I was trying to get to this, and somehow or another, I noped out my other thing. Um, did Siege just run? Yeah. <laughs> what the heck, Siege? You just bail on me. Um, there's nobody here even at all. All right, so uh, I'll be inking this up tonight or tomorrow or something. I don't know, but we'll get it done, get it done. And uh, so thanks, everybody, for being here. Like, subscribe, share, subscribe, like, share. Uh, oh, you can't join this channel. Go to my other channel. Uh, uh, sign up for the Magnificent 7, which is this will be a cover for. Dennis kicked her. Oh, you, yeah, but you can't kick her out of the whole thing. That's the thing. Siege said, I ran. She ran so far away, she couldn't get away. All right, guys, we're out. Peace. We'll see you later. Go to uh, Order of the Green Hand in about an hour, and we'll be drawn over there and talking and stuff. So peace out. God bless.